wait a minute. There was something I was going to do before I actually was starting it. I'm sorry for that. Let, let's get it done right, right now. Um, I wanted to you go down. You go up a tiny bit. Something like that. Just, just a bit bigger. Why not? Let's shrink that. Yeah, I think that's better. And that also means I need to include chat to be actually is it, it is on top of me. Is that bad? I honestly don't know. So how are you doing today? Um, today we are. I'm going to do the things that I usually do, uh, and that is getting into my barracks, sending them out. Uh, you can see that. Currently, I'm playing on an Arcanist, and the reason for it is, uh, like I said last, last time, I needed something to, you know, to have going. The mission was a success, we get an enlistment manual. I don't, I don't really care about that. Uh, but what I do care about is the following. Um, let's take a look, uh, this is the promotional stuff. What I would like to get going is the other one. The one that you can command your uh, your troops. It's it's boring. That is so true. Yeah, this mission is bound to be a success, and we'll get the defense. So we could change the tank. We can change the squad member to the gladiator or the marauder. I I seriously don't see how this is useful. Unless you're trying to go for a, some RP kind of stuff. But, look at that. That's 2000. <sighs> so expensive, man. I do not like that at all. So, um, I'm currently on the Arcanist. And for that alone, uh, let's queue up uh, leveling real quick. Let's get out. So we've been busy, we absolutely have been busy getting uh, the company stuff up and running. And look at that, that is the entire Osset. They have been working uh, like crazy. So in order for me to check out what has been going on, holy shit. Okay, this is getting very, very, very cluttered up. Uh, we have 24 Raisin. We don't have enough empty clusters, I think. Let's go to the... My dog was it's loud. My dog is loud today. I don't like that. Let's go to the mist. Um, also, this weekend, I would like to, you know, start a bit more recruiting. We've been kind of stuck on 48 members lately. And I want that done. Who's actually online of my friends? Uh, let's take a look. Okay, not many at all. That's a bloody bomber. Let's get in here. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm kind of going through the things I want to do. I also have a question. What the hell? Is it raining inside? Oh, that is actually quite fun. But how is it raining in there? What's making it rain? I'm, I'm sure the fish love it. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's go. Let's take a look. Uh, what we would need? What would we need? And I'm, we're actually well, our goal is the ether wheel prototypes, but we need empty clusters. Yeah, I, I know Zell actually has a understanding on how to do this. Do we have enough to unlock some of these? Uh, fibers. We do not have Coca Bolo lumber. Uh, both fibers, all woods. <sighs> You're too far away. You're still too far away. This cannot be done. Uh, we're, no way, no way. We don't have enough. Now we get these, these others, and, and that's great. Uh, but we need empty glasses, mainly. Uh, let's take a quick look here. 
Is any of the airships back? Uh, unfortunately for us, airship 2 is only rank 6. I don't think we can upgrade it. But since it is done, we might as well check it out. Come on. I'm, I did it wrong. Uh, also, we need fuel. Only 20 left. I need to stock up. Usually I, I do these like before I start stream. I just don't feel like it today. So yeah, you'll have to suffer with me. Uh, yeah, yeah, we get some of these. Nice. Finalized report. Okay, so it's rank 7 now. Uh, let's repair airship components. Because I don't want to get stuff in the FC bank that are broken. Change airship components. See, you insufficient rank. So you can't do it yet. We need to level him up. Deploy him. And it, it's a slow process. You know, it, it, it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. Send him out. Let's cut that scene away. So I have a question regarding... My ideas on, on doing the new game plus stuff. Uh, what would you like to see? And I know that's a very, very uh, loose, loose question. Like, what do you mean? Kind of question. Uh, it, it's mainly like, I'm very okay with spending a lot of time doing stuff that you might not be interested in. Uh, since we don't have the parts for that, let's just deploy him. Uh, there is a bit of a route because we are, we're getting more and more into it. I know we need to go... Oh, we actually got this one open, huh? Sweet. Uh, let me get the Discord up. So, what I'm trying to say, like, for the entire 15 minutes right now is... What are you guys interested in? That That's basically the question, right? So, you're watching Final Fantasy. You're either watching it now, you skimmed through it, you clicked on the title, you didn't realize what it was about, what I was doing. What is it... That you guys are interested in. That That's a big question for me. Because I'm quite here for the long run. And I do want to know what you guys are into. Uh, we need to go Neolithic. We need to go Kama, which we cannot. And we need to go Deep Sea 5 if possible. No, okay, let's do it like this then. Deploy him. Can we just skip this place? Okay. Do you find a place? Let's commence. I'll uh, I'll sort out the other one. This is this can only be one of two dungeons, I think. We're level 18. Let's go into the party chat and say hi guys. Hi all. Let's summon my carbuncle. Kind of need you to be over there, actually. Well, no. I, I know what I need to do. Uh, who's watching a cinematic? It is Esgara, who is our healer. Jade is going to be the tank. Cool. I uh, I chose the Arcanist by. Um, just be oh yeah i really am happy that i put all of those things on let's get Ifa on come on come on tanky you just go just go it's fine uh oh yeah missy is not having it i think this is a red mage How much can I pull? Uh, let's see, can I help him with pulling? I'll say I can... I'm not, uh, um, uh, not the healer, but could 
assist if dire. If if very needed. I'm very well aware that my my equipment doesn't have mint. Some people just don't know the class yet, and I'm assuming here that because of the cinematic, they kind of don't know. Because this would be their very first dungeon, I assume. This is, uh, yeah, it's Astasia. Yeah, that is the first dungeon they get. Okay, I'm going for this one. I'm just keep on spamming the skill because Otherwise, we're in here for like the next hour. Kind of don't want to. Uh, I want to continue the MSQ um, because we're actually getting close to Evansward. We're currently in patch 2.4, which means there is just a tiny bit going on, like 2.5, um, 2, two parts. So yeah, that definitely interests me. Yeah, we're almost there. Now, this, why I take the clamp? Because the clamp spawns these damn shade seekers. They're a pain in the ass. Uh, but Ruby is still very, very uh, young as a skill. I say young. Yeah, the tank is really unsure what to do because the um, the priest is just not responding. That's that's a damn shame. I don't know why people start playing an MMO and then decide that. You know, not paying attention, not talking to anyone is a good idea. So yeah, it's a bit slower than usual, but still, we need the... Um, we need the items, actually. Uh, I need the items to get the seals. I need to pay attention, because I'm not doing my rotation right. As for those of you who are new... Like early on, it's it's basically just ruin, uh, ether charge, ruin, energy drain, ruin, uh, faster ruin, faster then switch to uh, switch to one of your summons, which will do an attack, and you can do that like two times or three times. Uh, he's most likely skipping that. If I was him, I would do the same thing. Let's get the clamp. Now, uh, Ruby, this uh, the red dude. Who is eventually going to be like Ifrit. Is kind of the strongest in its base attack. And but it's slowest as well. So let's focus on the clam as well. My dog is trying to climb onto my lap. Which is definitely... No, 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 no. no not using my feet as, as a leverage. Go away. Don't do that. I'm going to let him just decide... Well, okay, Mizu can uh, decide who it's going to be then. No, oh, well, it's the right decision. Wait, I, I didn't notice that he checked out the pass. So I'm doing the rotation right now. And I think after the second fest, they do another rune. Oh, okay, they do another one. I'm, I think I've been a bit too fast. And there you go, you can summon the red dude. Which is still a bit shy on, like, speed. Just make sure you keep switching between. This is such a simple boss. It is the first dungeon, after all, right? 
Oh, uh, definitely. I'll, I'll need and greet everything. I do not care. And I actually do need it. I, I kind of need to make sure I don't get confused. But I'll sell all of this. Okay, we got two seconds. Can we get two attacks in? No, we cannot. Okay, normal rune. Not a ruin. Yeah, we're still lacking skills. Which is a bloody shame, of course. Who died? Okay, I'm, I'm going to assume my healer is, is up for the task. He just doesn't feel like interacting. Well, that's fine. You know, eat, to each his own. To each his own. Hey, right, second boss, Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, doing well. Uh, he was a bit too early with the pull down, our black mage. Actually, our red mage is getting dual cast right away, which is actually quite cool. I di didn't get that on my on my black mage uh, dual and triple cast, which is such a useful skill to have. Okay, let's get the energy. Rune, energy, we'll change the rotation a tiny bit. I kind of leveled up, uh, great. And greet. There you go, immediately got the Plunder Cavalier's hat. Is it better for me? Bloody hell, yes it is. Oh, okay, maybe not. Yeah, okay, there we go. Change, change of wardrobe, change of wardrobe. Oh, uh, don't pull in here, please. This is such a dangerous place to pull. Okay, uh, see, because he's not holding on. And there's the line of sight issue as well. Hey, right, that guy, it's fine. Okay, they're pulling those guys. Okay, I'm going to be I'm going to be a bit of a dick here. Just just to make sure that we keep going on this because it's going a bit slow. I, I don't care for the healer right now. If I die, I die. Simple as that. I shouldn't be able to die though, because he immediately gets his F. Um, how do you call that skill again? Emity? Yeah, Emity. Up. Come on. Just come on. Six is such a small thing to do. Okay, let's go. If uh Rune. Energy drain. Rune. Festa. Rune. Vesta. Rune. And then, if the box was still alive, then we would be going into that. Come on. Go immediately, go. Switch over to the other guy. What are you doing with that blanket, dude? Get the hell out of the way from my feet. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, you should drop a key. Yeah, even Mizu is like, okay, can we just hurry the frick up? <laughs> There's no e monsters right here. We can just go. There we go. So this one, when he is down low on health, he is going to be opening the gate by magic. Yes, magic. Okay, let's do a second rune just to make sure that we're getting a bit in the rotation here. Okay, there we go, another rune. Switch carbon call, and then ruby rune. 
will be ruined. Second time, you can see the counter down there. Switch over. These dogs are not difficult, they're annoying, mainly. It's just to create an escape for the cat. And he will escape. Get some scoffee here. At this one, definitely let the tank do its work. This can go very, very wrong very, very fast. I've seen people just not standing correctly and then pulling the entire bloody room. You kind of don't want that, do you? This one needs to come pull him. There's a limited time I can do this. Man, that skill is quite cool, the blue one. For a low skill, it's quite cool. Uh, we got one more charge, 15 seconds. There we go. And now it's just, just going with rune until we reach the end. What are you doing? Come on. You can actually pull it just into the boss room, but then again, I'm ex expecting or suspecting our healer will get the cutscene. Not doing the Aoife right now, because, well, cutscene and then boss will do the full rotation. Full rotation, he says, yeah, sure. That's how we, uh, let's, let's call it full rotation. Yeah, let's make sure he stays safe. Ooh, okay, so did you see that? He almost walked into that. Okay, let's go. Okay, room. If uh, rune, Festa, rune, energy drain, rune, energy drain, rune. I need another rune. Uh, I'm either going too fast, let's go. The ruby. And we'll do that twice. Switch over. And then it's called the Topaz rune. We don't have the um, the earth one yet, the emerald. Now you should be able to kill this boss before anything. And we failed. I'm as I'm dang I'm thinking he is focusing on healing instead of doing DPS. Hey, right, nice job. Nice job, all. <clears throat> Let's get this coffer And then we can actually start doing uh, Stuff uh, I'll greet this I either need you to roll Or go Wait until he's gone. <laughs> Do you know why you should always kick Arcanus out of the parties? There was ruin everything! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, man. I like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's another thing I want to do here in my own layout. Sorry for that. Uh, edit layout. Uh, I want to get rid of this. And then I want to add... Can be a 
save that. Now go like so. Why are you not showing up? That is so weird. That is weird. So how are you doing, man? Hopefully you're doing great. Why am I not seeing what I'm supposed to be seeing? Oops. Wait, I don't need that. Okay, against the changes. Let's take a look. So we now have some more seals. So we've got 2,000 of them. It's not a lot. I'm here, lol. <laughs> oh, man. How late is it? It must be freakishly late. I'm uh, not melt. Wow, that hot? Shit. Yeah, let's get in. I, I want to put the stuff back for the FC. Because we can't use this still. Uh, the other ship is still away for like a day. We can't really use it. Which is uh, a bit awful. But it is what it is. Let's get the fuel in there. Get the repair stuff in there. Uh, we got some items. Oh, we got only two? Oh, man, that sucks. Uh, uh, what else do we need? We have the Basta wood. Got the bamboo stuff. Where is the bamboo wood? Wait, what? We should have bamboo. I'll do that. Please. Uh, Scarlet sap. Where have they been? <laughs> it's, it's such a mess. It is such a mess. Let's put that in there. And I'm thinking they put this. Yeah. This stuff is worthless. Absolutely. Uh, wow. It, it's it's half, half past 11 and the average is 30, 33. Damn, dude. <laughs> that into the night is bloody awful. Sorry for that. Uh, can we use it? We cannot. Let's use that. Uh, we need to get to Ulda. I also need to go switch to my white mage. I'll sell the other stuff later, like this. I won't bore you to death with it. I can actually... There's this... How much... There's seven hours worth of this, okay. I need to remember to buy new actions. Let's get to... The intercession. Let's go. Let's do some MSQ stuff, finally. And going 30-33 into the evening or the night is, is a disaster. Truly is a disaster. Spam a bit of the recruitment message. I always do that. Maybe someone will reply, maybe they won't. It's... Wait, he was in my party. Right? Yeah, he was the red mage. Area mirrors. Yeah, we were in the party to get him. Cool. Usually you don't see it. Usually, um, the people are from a other server. So the goal for today is simple. Get to the end of 2.4. Oh, we're breaking the heat record, so that's fun. Yes, I can imagine this. Oh, that's amazing, man. Congratulations. That is absolutely delighted. It's actually quite difficult to deny something and agree to it at the same time. You should try it. It's more difficult than you think. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Uh, so, the white mage is 44. And there's at least only 7% humidity. That's like a... A hairdryer. 80 yesterday? Holy shit. 
Damn, man. Okay, House for the Night. Move along, adventure. There's nothing for. Uh, Lord Hoshifar did uh, bid you to speak with us. Then you must be back your pardon, sign. As you can see, they left nary a crate behind, tripled the wagon for good measures even. Whole thing's a bit odd, if you ask me. Would have been easier just steal it, though a damn sight harder to conceal uh, it. I'll allow. Now, actually, it makes a lot of sense. You could always just destroy it. I reckon they came prepared, probably with a wagon of their own, bidden a way off. Ah, but pay no heed to my ramblings. Absent of proof is it not, but speculation. Might be as the squire receiving receiving care at the observator observatorium could tell you something more factual that is if he is awake unlike myself he was there during the attack not that his presence amounted to much uh hi there let's examine the poor fella Uh, let's say you wanna you're yet say you a you are it's just this dumb dumb comma interested in joining just feel like spamming X to me uh where are you spamming FC invite me I do I usually just use a shout X means invite. How the hell do I know? <laughs> awesome. Let's take a look. Uh, search player. I'm, I'm, I'm very good at this. Uh, let's go with A-E-U-S-O. Without the I. All them emo shit. Ah, invite into company. Okay. There you go. There you go. Hope we serve you well. And say welcome. Anyways, let's go to the observatorium. Started with Eve for what I remember. Really? Eve? I played Eve for like six or seven years. I've never seen X. Uh, yeah, let's do this. So, um, how are you doing, man? Oh, I'm just just doing. Let's not include other stuff. Let's get off our chocobo. Uh, where the hell is this dude? Uh, grinding you, uh, streaming, and uh, doing MSQ. Let's take a look. Can we get in here? Is it this? Is this where we need to be? No, we don't. It's, it's probably up here. After one more duty, <laughs> yeah, uh, you'll skip the night. Uh, oh, here we are. Actually, he is actually up and awake. You, you've come to ask about the attack, haven't you? Of course. <laughs> Why else would we be here with you, bro? We came up. Uh, let's see. We came upon them before the entrance of the Hall of the Seven Echoes. Pil uh, pilgrims. We marked them as lost and ill-equipped for the journey further north. Our leader called out to them, and one of them stepped forward to answer. Slowly, she approached. Her silver hair flowing in the wind like melting snow. Just a young girl, I, st I thought. Some poor lost lamp in search of salvation. Our leader must have thought the same. Else why would he let her draw so close? They exchanged some wor words I couldn't hear, and she leaned forward 
as if to kiss his cheek. And then she sighted a... And then he sighted and crumpled to the ground. I didn't know what happened till I saw the snow turned red. And then there was red everywhere I looked. I tried to fight, but took a blow to the head. And by the time I came to, the others were dead and the heretics just unloaded the wagon. I couldn't, I mean, they have killed, they, they would have killed me. So I just laid still and listened. Eyes hurt, people uh, spoke of deliverance and resurrection. And they spoke of Shiva. So yeah, that's that's fun. Uh, why isn't this not working? Let, let, let's 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 see why this is not working. It's it's annoying the heck out of me. Yeah, it's not working. Why is that? So stupid. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I know what, what the fuck's going on. And you guys are like, what the f what are you what are you rambling about? Um Where's that show player? There we go, that's probably better. Um I tried to fight, but took a blow to the head when it came to the others were dead. Someone's a poet. And he hardly knows it. I know. I think I think he's full of shit. That's what I think. I think he's lying. Surviving Squire. I think he, the moment the attack happened, he was like... Just do that. F it. I think he's lying. I think we should interrogate him. Bring him to the chambers. No. Uh, where do we need to go? Dragonheart. Let's go back to Orphinaut. Because Orphinaut, of course, is... Is the man in charge. Man in charge he is. Okay, uh, what are you grinding at? At grinding for at the moment. I, I want to make sure that at least to keep some interaction going so far, the, um, the FC has been a bit quiet. I hate quiet FCs. Seriously, and then it has to be my own. <laughs> I hate that even more. Ah, uh, Alfino. Ah, it's not voiced. Ah, uh, you've returned. What news have you for us? It seems that Lady Isa does not scuffle to scurry her hands with blood. Who's this Siva the heretic spoke of? Have you not read a single line of the Ensheridian? Ensheridian? The Master Elfinot. Shiva was a traitor to Kit and Kin, a apostate who laid down with dragons. Mm. Now, now, we cannot expect all foreigners to know his guardian scripture so well, particularly when it comes, uh, when it concerns the patron saint of heretics. Wait, you said she is that patron saint? Oh no, it all makes sense now. Lord Archifon, what was the car what was the caravan's cargo? Of course they were just carrying out crystals. <laughs> yes, they were. Ah, if I recall correctly, the Diamond Forge had requested a rather large quantity of crystals. My god, dum dum dum. Do you not see? I heard enough followers intend to summon Shiva as a beast tribe would a primal. Why else would they go such length to secure crystals? I shall inform the Lord Commander at once. Lord Hoshifon, would uh, you would agree that discretion is of paramount concern? I shouldn't have hit myself on the head. I'm having a headache right now. Why did I do that? Of course. I trust we can count on your continued support, Master Afinot. The signs of the Seven Dawn are sworn to combat the primal threat. Our support is a given. I will need to send word to my brethren at Reverend Stall. Our entire order must turn its effort to, pre 
to the prevention of this summoning. Naturally, that includes you, though I'm sure you would not miss this for the world. Can I skip out? You know, could you combat a primal by itself? Because the, basically you're only letting me fight it because I have the echo. So I will not be influenced by the primal. And you would kill everyone else. If memory serves me correctly after the conversation we had about Ifrit. Those influenced by the primal will be... <laughs> Such a nice thing to do. Let's get the trousers. And then by the end of uh, A Realm Reborn, like even this stuff. We should have two sets, one for a samurai, one for the other one. Yo MC, how are you doing? A stretch and a hydrate. And that this uh, early on. Oh god. Oh. I'm doing leveling myself on a slow, boring road to all all 90. Damn, that's, that's a long road, my man. I'm on a road to Heavensward myself. And Meep. M meep. Cheers. Mm. Cold coffee. Perfect. Oh, I need to make a picture of this. My dogs, they rarely lay in the same pin. And he's eyeballing me, he knows what the fuck's going on. I posted on Discord. Posted on Discord, Discord, where the fuck is Discord, here's Discord. How are you doing, MC? Uh, and let's just post it into personal. And then do emoticon with hearts. There you go. Doing good, thanks. Just super sleepy, going back for a nap. In a few, how's yours? Um, I'm t I'm t I'm still a bit tired. Yes, that is true. I I've I had two and I had a morning shift and then you know, basically the rest of it. Uh, and I woke up at six because the wife needed to go to work, and I decided to stream. And I still need to vacuum, and I do need to do. Uh, I need to dust the plinths. Uh, and that of a house of 170 meters square, it's a lot of plinths. So you can imagine how delighted I am. Uh, the person attack, the persistent attacks on our caravan seems little more than a nuisance. At first, the heretics were a problem to be sure, but a relative minor one. But relatively a minor one. That was before I dis discerned the purpose behind their attacks of course now they have my undivided attention after apprising Minfilia of the situation i shall summon a unit of crystal braves to assist us as for you Une, pray join me at right brim front yeah it is super cute right usually they just they, they just try to kill each other now now they're just lying back to back in a basket since the incident at Snowcloak, the Knights of House Durinda have redoubled their uh, reconnaissance effort in the region. This is my, uh, it is my hope that they have information which may help us determine precisely where the heretics are hiding. Given our mutual enemy, Lord Dillamond should be eager to observe us. I shall see you there then. Good. He just casually walks off. He just. Uh, why are you on the table? Get off the table. You just, we, sorry, dude. I'll just jump over it. It's fine. That's so awful. Why would you do that? You're a mean bird. Did you, by the way, did you level? Are you still level 7? 
You're joking. Um, uh, I'm at the end of SHD with my black mage and what we're done. And that went on high tiers to level everyone. Already up to everyone being at 55. Damn. Uh, that, that, that's, that's fast. Fast, man. Anyways, let's get on our bird. Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, it's a blessing and a curse. curse. I'm, 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 by no means, like, I'm very blessed with my house. But I had to labor for it for three years in order to get it. Uh, sorry, Warrior and Dark Knight at 54. Well, still. Uh, that's how I level up my other class as well. Um, I'm doing the same with an Arcanist. Okay, so he is mo- Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to go down. Okay, fine. Damn bird. Come on. You prefer scholar or summoner side? Um, usually do both. Uh, I like them both, but focus at the moment on a, a white mage over the scholar. There you go. <laughs> Ah, that's so weird. Uh, I've been really enjoying Palia. Yeah, I, I, I glimpsed over it yesterday when I was at work. I saw that you were um, playing it. But I was at work, so I couldn't really like tune in. Um, Scholar heals are so weak. Yeah, Scholar focuses on like uh, mitigation. Um, true. I'm just going to say... True, uh, but shield is kind of nice. There you go. Diliment. The signs of the Seven Dawn wish to join in the hunt for Ice Hat. Your assistance is more than welcome, my friend. Consider the report I just received. I dare say your timing could, no, could be no better. Uh, where all is, Lord Trillamond? So we're actually going into, like, primal territory then, huh? So what is Palia about? Uh, I, I saw it like, it's, it's like this, so is it like a survival thing, sir? A band of pilgrims has been transported a large number of crates to the west. Their garb appears to match the description provided by the squire who survived the attack. At last, our scouts lost track of them at Snowcloak. That self-same frozen wall which we suspected might conceal the heretic's hideaway. Suffice to say, the disappearance of these pilgrims and their provisions all but confirms our suspicion. I've heard enough. My knights will join the hunt. I took the liberty of summoning a unit of crystal braves to Whitebrim Front. Given the gravity of the situation, I trust you will agree that we must use every resource available to us. These are extraordinary circumstances, Commander. It would be in our best interest to coordinate our efforts. Such was my intention from the start, Sir Emmerich. I love this Emmerich guy. And so it begins, my friend, though I dare say I will provide an all too brief coordination. Icehat will not elude the combined forces of the Crystal Braves and the Temple Knights for long. Nevertheless, the wise man does not wager all upon the success of a single solution. There may yet be subtler means by which we can locate the heretic lair. Mayhap Lord Drillamond has one in mind. If you, 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 why don't you just ask him? You don't have to tell me what you're thinking. Just ask the fella. Interesting. Yes, it is an ice wall. Huh, an 
ice wall, you say? Yes, yes. Excellent. See, I told you I was right. It is an ice wall. Absolute pr It's bending the knee. My lady, everything has been accounted for. If there is aught else you would have us do, pray speak and it shall be done. Alright, um, wait, what? Do we not have the boots yet? Oh, we'll take the boots. No, we did not have the boots yet. Okay, awesome. Um... We'll put these on on uh, Ninja because we're saving it up for the Samurai. I think these this gear would be better. Although, yeah, I don't have the uh, I don't have the tomes in order to make sure that we have a full set. Uh, shield crits for stupid amount. I assume Scholar is primarily crit. Uh, I would not be able to tell uh, I got scholar to 60 and then mainly focus black mage it is a real chill game the only combat in the game is when you hunt animals. I won't call M I won't call MMO where you can team up with friends and help them gather stuff to help them with building buildings and so on. The story is quite interesting too. You can fish, mine rocks, gather plants, hunt animals and bugs and do farming. So which is like it's it's more like you you build a house or like well, what's 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 the goal? Like, like do you build a community? Do you build a house? Do you I, I don't know man. Anyways, let let's go. Uh, Trillmont, and we get the boots for the other dude. Let's go. It seems as though we have already one step behind our quarry, our quarry ever just beyond our, uh, our quarry ever just beyond our reach. Though I would like to believe that the tables are about to turn, I must confess to have certain doubt. A joint effort may succeed while others have failed, but I could yet, but it could yet yield the self same. Why do I always do this? I always, when I'm reading, I'm like just cr curling up like in a blanket. Like, oh shit, I need to read. I need to stop doing that. Yeah, you can build a house, you can also build a community. Oh, that sounds good. So you have a joint effort in doing something then. For me, I, I, when I skimmed over the game, I had like, mm, not really for me, like, to all the graphics. But that's when I was skimming over it. I'm not sure if the game, I think the game is quite basic. Fortunately, we are not without uh, other options. I trust you haven't forgotten Inquisitor Gilliman. True. We have not. The mystery of how the heretic remained undiscovered for so long has been much in our thought. As had the question of what steps might be taken to prevent a similar breach of security in the future. Accordingly, we conducted an exhaustive... Nay, ex Exhaustive, yeah. Exhaustive and covert evaluation of everyone in Widebrim Front. Though some were found to have committed certain minor transgressions, we identified only one possible heretic. If this man has pledged himself to Icehide's cause, he will have taken note of the movements of the Temple Knights and the Crystal Braves, and upon re uh, recognizing their intent, 
he may attempt to warn the heretics. The man's watch is to end soon. At which point he must... Okay. At which point he must report to Sir Jean Tremont? Is it Jean Tremont? Whatever. I'm just calling it Jean Tremont. In the yard. I would have you keep an eye on him. If he ventures beyond our wall, follow him discreetly. Because how can you follow discreet in, in a wide circumstance? I don't know how you do it. Should he meet with a heretic, do not interfere. Simply watch and listen. I have seen to it that the suspect knows nothing. I have seen to it that the suspect knows nothing which could endanger our plans. So the, uh, wait, wait, so the arrival of the Crystal Braves and the Temple Knights completely looted this guy. He's like, wow, there's a lot of guys here. Yeah, that must be a nice get together. Uh, the game is quite easy to learn how to play. Can you, uh, I can see how you might think it's basic, but there's so much going on. The map's huge. Hidden places, manage to get lost almost every time. Uh, I left my plot during a stream yesterday. Also found quite the treasure chest. Well, I'm, I'm so happy to hear that you're actually having a great time. You know, it is... That's great. Great news. It's definitely always play what you want to play. That's why I've been so focused on Final Fantasy. It's been an absolute delight. Also, a new expansion next year. And that means that the free trial is also going to be extended by... 10 levels, at least I've been told it is going to be extended by 10 levels. Is this the guy? Yeah, he's the accused knight. This is how we follow the guy discreetly. He needs more sleep. Look at those bags under his eyes. Now they're doing push-ups in the winter. Great. I don't think we want to go on Chocobo today. Also, what's I need a I need a hairdresser, but my hairdresser is a, is on a vacation for a month. Bastard. Look at him go. He is uh, definitely going for it. Why did they... Yeah, well, never mind. Let's go on the choke. I hate walking. This is so discreet. This is absolutely discreet. Nice. Oh, that looks fucking old. Oh, that's not like the game. You have this game where you play like a wolf. Um, yeah, I kind of uh, uh, fell in love with it at some point. To make Prowl available to open beta. So anyone who's interested in playing can then discover an interesting future box. Like NPCs floating, sliding away and stuff, walking. It's always fun, you know, sliding is just a very convenient way of movement. It's like um, skipping. Skipping is a word, right? It's, it's like where you hop, or you jump every time. I don't know why I do this, by the way. Um, Yeah, skipping is a word. There we go. Then skipping is a very convenient way of walking. It's not a very manly one. But then again, who the fuck cares? 
you see, I like skipping as well. Just not at a military base. A lot of people watching weird at you. I can tell you that. Hey, hey, where in the seven hells are you? I'm freezing my bollocks off here. I'm here. You, you blundering oaf. Why are you late? Standing on the wall. Why else? I have duties to fulfill, you know? Your sole duty is to the... Hmm... Bloody echoes. Lower your, lower your voice or they hear us at Whitebrim Front. Yes, of course. The Temple Knights are mumble, mumble in Snowcloak. This is what you bring me... Uh, this is... This is what you bring to me? We already know this. Mumble, mumble. Our comrades in Boulder Downs will use uh, the tunnels. Mumble, mumble. Let me stop with the mumble, it's annoying the heck out of me. Uh, death before they know what's happening. Nevertheless, if you waste my time again, is that clear? Should we have a minute in real life? I'm going to do the skipping walk for at least five minutes. I'll join you, I don't care. I'm a manly man, you see? Seriously, like he is just betraying everyone he knows, and that is how they treat him? I would stab the fricker. Quickly, go. Because they know that we might be onto them. We need to warn everyone about the tunnels that we've already known about, actually. We know about the tunnels, we just can't find them. It's fine. Who's judging? Alright, let's stop being sarcastic. You know, I do love the game. I really do. Okay, Drillmont. There you go. Well, did your inv investigation bear fruit? How is he sitting? Is he cold? Is he... He feels violated, I'm, I'm sure. Look at him. Please let me go home. I see. I shall have, I shall have the man detained at once. His guild is plain. Awesome, yeah. Uh, would that you could have heard the words more clearly. Yet, a few scratch, uh, a few scratches you were able to make out. Uh, what the hell happened with my chocobo? Are uh, nonetheless enlightening. It would seem the heretics are aware of our operation and confident that they can thwart it. Their comrades in Boulder Dawns are key to their plan which means it is key to our plan that they be rooted out and put to the sword yes and they gave us bacon bread how nice uh look where is the chatbot i i i, I don't know how should i know uh stream laps Let's take a look. Where's the chat box? I didn't know there was such need for it, but let's go. The chat bot is off. For some stupid reason. Try now. Put this in the back. So what we lack is the top. First blood. Chatbot just makes things fun and all. You need it really. Okay, chatbot still broken. Wait a minute. Oh wait, I might know what's going on. Yeah, I know what's going on. Uh, let me log out. Let me log out. Frick's sake. Uh, don't down that. Uh, let's log in. Twitch. Yeah, I was checking out the YouTube stuff. And I think I accidentally clicked on it. Let's turn it on. Okay, try it now. Yeah, it's just... It's a sleepy bot. It needs its peace and quiet. 
We have long suspected that the heretics are using a network of secret tunnels to traverse the highlands undetected. MC, have a wonderful look. There we go. <laughs> um, given what you overheard, I fear that Snowcloak may be riddled with these passageways. And that the heretics in Boulder Down are planning to use them to take our forces unawares. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to happen. A contingent of house deranged knights are on patrol in the area, and I shall order them to begin search for the heretics at once. But knowing nothing of our enemies' numbers or readings, we cannot say for sure that they will be sufficient. It would put my mind to ease if you would consider to assist my knights with the, with their search. I know they would take the courage from the from the presence of such a storied warrior. Pray rendezvous with them at Boulders Down if Halone is kind of Halle, Halone Halone. I think I've, they they pronounced it. I will have a wonderful look. Yes, we may catch these heretics before they plan come to fruition. Show them no mercy. The life of our allies are at stake. Okay. My dogs want to go outside for a second. So this is what I'll do. I'll just run a commercial. And I'll uh, see you afterwards. Hopefully. So, um, I let my dogs out with two pigeons in the yard. I think one of them just flew in our neighbor's window and then fell down. I feel sad about that. <laughs> they were just so nicely together, you know, it's sitting the two of them. I'm envisioning it all, it's just happily ever after. And then I opened the door and now I think one of them is dead. Now I feel sad. I do need to keep a bit of an eye on my dogs though. It's kind of I'm hoping I'll see just like nodding his head like, oh man, ooh, yeah, that's a bit of a headache over there. Oh man. Yeah, that doesn't feel right. But yeah. He did flutter when, when he was going down, so it just just the other one. Oh oh do I want to tell the story? I don't know if I want to. Um, a few, uh, I think like a, a two months ago, we had the same situation happening, but he was on my roof. And then he made this U-turn, and with force flown into my house. Yeah, you can imagine what happened, right? Don't have to spit it out, I think. But I felt sad. I do feel sad. Uh, let's take a look what they're doing.
Oh, here we are. Sorry for that. Uh, also, sorry for the story about the pigeon. But I, I don't really need to get outside every now and then. I'm a dog owner, so yeah, I chose for this. I consented to the idea of making sure that they actually get out when they need to. Also, take them for a walk later today, for those of you who are worried about that. Uh, let's go to Boulders Down. Uh, to get them to the top, let's not summon our chocobo in the midst of this guy's tower. That would be bad. Oh, he's whining. What's going on, buddy? I can't wait to actually get into that place, though. Hey, let's go. Uh, do we follow or do we go over it? Let's go over the mountain. No, we'll, we'll go through it. It is... Is this one? Yeah, it is this one. Let's go. We shall assist where we can. It's also been a very long time that I've played on anything but the White Mage. I think it's like the past three, stre uh, three streams. Ooh, they're nasty looking. Um, oh wow, I think we're too late. Yep. Okay. Let's go deal with them. There's another Harrier. Oh, uh, let's go with this one because he's actually a mage, and I think that he is definitely the more evil of the two. Go with a quick holy, get a bit of a so. Uh, a, um, they should be stunned for like three seconds. The second one does it like two. The last one does it for one. And after three attacks of holy. They should be, uh, how do you say, Im immune? Yeah, immune. Uh, I also need to do like the hard mode of some of the dungeons. I haven't done that in a bit. Okay. Fallen Heretics Effects. Yeah, we don't go into this dungeon any further than that, huh? Okay. Oh. We are brave. We are brave. And I should have set my chocobo at my side so he would actually level up. I might place him in the stable. Considering we now have a unicorn. That I did not know we could get. Like, we got a unicorn for reaching... I would assume like level 30 as a conjurer from a side mission. Terrestrial. Yes. So that's cool. I guess. Apparently according to chat of that day I'm now a brownie. Or a brownie? I honestly don't know. I'm too old for that bullshit. My knight sent no word of your coming, Une. What has happened? Was it... What is that in your hand? Yeah, you got... Re uh, you get reduced turns and stuns. The holy still more damage than stone if it hits tree mobs. Yeah. It's just with every AoE, right? Every AoE does... Combined to three enemies more damage than it does to one. By the fury. Those were veterans with years of service. Well, they were veterans indeed. Now they lie dead in the snow. Their bodies must be recovered. And their families must be informed. No, no. We have not the man to spare. Not now. Not with ice. While ice heart prepares to summon an abomination. The heretics you dispatched were not of sufficient number to contend with the combined strength of the Temple Knight and the Crystal Braves. There must be others. I'll wager they they, they are on the on their way to Snowcloak as we speak. 
To make matters worse, it seems the traitor you followed managed to pass the heretic something of value after all. A parchment you recovered is a timetable of the guardsman, guardman's watch at our outpost in Snowcloak. The traitor was stationed here long before he aroused our suspicion. Would that we had called? Uh, would that we had called him sooner? With this information, heretics know uh, would know when the watch was weakest. They could use their tunnels to impune and prepare their ambush. Why don't we change the schedule then? The timetable has not changed, you see, of course. It will be changed now, but the heretics already uh, may already be in position. House there and there must send reinforcements, even if it means withdrawing knights from the stone vigil. I can see no other way to safeguard the lives of our allies. Oh, well, I guess we'll do. Uh, the Path of Righteous. It seems that this might go into the Primal Summoning. Time is of the essence. While my knights make ready to depart, the heretics make our allies in snow... The allies may take our allies in snow cloaks underwear. Superior training and equipment will avail them not if they are cut down ere their swords are drawn. But all is not yet lost. If you leave now, there may still be time to warn them. Make haste. I beseech you, fly to Snowcloak and tell Sir Emmerich everything we have discovered. Okay. Yeah, wait, wait this is a dungeon, right? Uh, okay, I will summon my bird here because this is times of the essence. Oops. Let's not do pigeon. Yeah, this is a... I think this is a new dungeon. That we're going into right now. I hope. Look, I don't have the um, the MSQ open right now for Final Fantasy, so I kind of just going off my my gut feeling because that's the entrance. And it seemed that Crystal Brave Sir uh, Emmerich. Oh no! Wait, this is something else. Never mind. No cloak is a dungeon, yeah. Um, this is a welcome surprise. Perhaps uh, the only one thus far. As you can see, we have yet to uncover any hidden... You have my gratitude. Truth be told, we suspected the heretics might be plotting such an attack. Now that we have confirmation, I shall place my knights on high alert. I see movement over there in the shadows. Don't know what it is. Has Commander Levin you have been informed? The Braves must be made aware. Everyone's gone except him now. It must be here. I'm certain of it. Why else would they go in such length to defend Snowcloak? It's but a pity this discovery comes when our enemy has us at such a disadvantage. Forewarned though we, uh, we be, the heretics know this terrain far better than we. I dare not think how many are watching us at this very moment. Confound it. This is all wrong. Iceheart has us scrambling to save our own skin when we should be rightly be straining every senu or find her. What? Iceheart has us scrambling to save our own skins when we should be rightly when we should rightly be straining every Stand new to Oh, so like he's like searching very, very well and turning every stone to find her and stop this damn, damn bull summoning. There she is.
Come here, girl. Okay. They sure is love. They love somersaulting, don't they? Who the hell is that? That was close. They didn't hurt you, did they? Only my pride, either. There will be others nearby. We must see that they are given a similarly warm welcome. Command 11, yeah. Commander! There has been a development, sir. Together with the Temple Knights, we have secured the entrance to some half dozen tunnels after spotting the enemy breaking the surface. But that's not all, sir. We think that one of them may be important. Certainly, the heretics near uh, the, the heretics near flung themselves upon their swords to defend it. Well, that's not helpful, is it? Ah, just as I suspected. Amongst this warden of to a warren of tunnels lies the entrance to Iceheart's lair. Summon the others. We're going in. A moment, Elfinot. The tunnels in question is barely wide enough for two men abreast. We cannot say with any certainty the, where it leads, much less what is awaiting us there. Furthermore, we have no way of knowing how many heretics are still lurking here on the surface. What if they were to converge uh, on this point after we enter the tunnel? For all we know, we could be funneling our forces into a trap. Luckily, this guy is a lot cleverer than him, and he is this bloody scholar. I take your point. The tunnel is indeed, an, uh, uh, if the tunnel is indeed as narrow as you say, greater numbers would be more a hindrance than a help. Should we encounter difficulties, our own allies would become an obstacle to escape. So we'll send in the person we can definitely miss. <clears throat> Change of plans. Where are we to rendezvous with Sir Elmric and keep the heretics at bay? You will go wherever the tunnel is. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm expendable. If you find ours at the end of it, don't let her escape. Okay. Expendable and a murderer. You venture into the unknown to see what you... Uh, to see that... So see that you are prepared for anything. I suggest you call upon your allies, though not too many or Papalimo will sulk. Oh, wait. I know this dungeon. It's actually... Not that difficult. Definitely will go as a healer then. Just above there, don't see the heretics breaking the surface, we'll never be noticed it. Uh, per Sir Eldrick's order, we shall stand guard outside. Please be aware that even should you encounter significant resistance, we cannot leave our post. So basically, you're on your own. Lassie. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let us turn that off. Snow cloak. And we actually get some per points of poetics. Let's go. Should be fast. Come on. I'm going to assume this is. Yeah, it, it's night time, isn't it? Yay. That means it's going to be quite difficult. Never mind. It's there. I'm um, getting a bit chilly today. I did close the door, I think. Yeah, I did. Let's go. Light party. It's so light. actually quite lovely. Of, no, this is diff completely a different dungeon than I envisioned. Never mind. Go party and say, hi all. Yeah, where's the... F yeah, thank you. You know, it's kind of stupid how they say it. Like, where is the full party then? Precisely.
go rush. It's been a while since I actually did this, so yeah, uh, we might die here. Dude. That scared the living shit out of me. He did that skill where um, he lost its HP. Freaking hate that. Yeah, that was too much, mate. I can't. I'm not a miracle worker. I'm a doctor, dude. A uh, bit too much for me. Just use holy for head, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. We killed a few. Shit happens. Stay to the side. Yeah, he's going to do very tiny pulls now, most likely. I would do that, definitely. He also might not be having the best gear himself. That is a normal point. It's for you, maybe. Not for me, man. I've not done a dungeon on this one for a while. But he was taking a shit ton of damage. So, either we're lacking DPS then. We also probably lack a good healer. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Let's do a bit of a heal over there. And go immediately in with a bloody hole. You know, this... It takes such a long time to actually cast holy. I don't like that at all, you know. It's it's such a slow skill. And I know why they'd probably do it, because it's, you know, pain in the ass to deal with it. Get region up. I'm a pull slow, lol. Yeah, you, you do what you mean. <laughs> the door to silence. Uh, I can't read right now, mate. Um, it's the same recast as Cure 2. Get the same amount of stone arrows, holy. Really? It feels so much faster, actually. Recast is 2.4. Yeah, it's actually, it is indeed the same time, yeah. Okay, let's do quickly holy. Oh, he's full resistant. Damn. Let's go in here. Usually the bosses aren't the, maybe the biggest issue, right? Get another regen on him. 
What's this actually? Frozen. Can't dispel that. So that's going to be... He's getting more and more damage, I'm assuming, then. Medica. <laughs> True. Like I said, I have not played a while on the White Mage. I think this is very much like the naval thing. Get another ether up. Alright. Nice. Nice. And the oh, so this is used to get uh, gear, right? Yeah. Do a cure free. Don't die. I would be feeling extremely awkward. I'm sure he was like pissing himself. Like, oh no, here I go again. He's taking a shit ton of damage though. Look, I'm sorry, but he is. I don't know what's going on with that. Cast is interrupted, hate that as well. There's a lot of things I don't like. <laughs> like, he needs to do it really quick now. We're lacking DPS like crazy. Oh, he's actually okay is dressed, I think. Yeah, he is. He's dressed good. Yeah, who is dressed shit? It's probably just me then. No, they're actually quite dressed okay. I can't really like... Were those healing accessory? Wait, what? Yeah, they are. Shit, you're kidding. Yeah, that's healing accessory. Well, that explains a shit ton. True. It's it. You know, I, I get it. Like I, I seriously, I'll get it. I get it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you there? Why are you, Why did you stay there? Damn, Black Mage. Always the same with you lot. 
Yeah, but he's, he's just not doing... We're lacking damage. I think we're lacking damage like crazy. That's just probably me. Yeah, damn you. No, I, look, I get it. You don't want to move a black mode. That's what we do. We just stand still and hope we don't die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, there. Probably, hopefully. Seriously? Well, he does take his role extremely serious, which is nice. I'm also not a huge fan of archers. Like, our archers are very good. Healers adjust. Yeah, that's true. We healers always have to adjust. Let me focus on the bloody group again then. You'll cure free around me. There you go. Okay. Get some medica. Uh, let's stop. Can't really like. I don't know what's up with this dungeon. Like, it feels extremely annoying, this Yeti. It just it feels annoying. It is annoying. But Bart is really, really bad. So, it... it Why would you not open that? I'll greet it. He's already on the go. Get a quick cast on him. Oh man, don't die. He'll be blaming me, I can tell you that. Dude. I also don't have to stop casting. I think I could just do it like this. With the holy, it is actually quite nice. You don't have to target an enemy. Fucking beasts. There's more incoming. He is seriously. You're annoying. Great though, the stun is absolutely great. Uh, the wave benediction where is needed. Uh, I, I can read in a second. Uh, let's see, we have this thing. Uh, when I leave the tank target, I only do three, uh, holy three times. I'll dive holy, then cure two. Yeah, because they, the, they should be stunned for longer, right? Weave Benedict. Yeah, Benedict is. I, he scared the shit out of me with that one skill he had.
Let's do three times holy then. Do Benedict. And they're still not dead. Dude. Yeah, he's dying. He's dying. He's dead. He's dead. Come on. Don't die. Don't freaking die. Don't die. What's going on, man? That, what is going on? Why do they not do damage? I'm starting to blame everyone. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this dungeon hits hard. Okay, I get it. But still, man. I, I feel we're lacking damage like crazy. I don't like this dungeon at all. Go recast. Cast new. Yeah, I am at level up for this one, of course. And I could have had but better gear, maybe. Um, I don't have my full set yet, by the way. Oh, wait. Okay, now do the uh, Mekina. This time I'm out. He isn't. That's what you get, Source. I can't dispel that. Yeah, what I'm lacking is, I think, the gloves. Dude. I did rest, right? You got to be kidding. I know we did it this time. Uh, luckily, this time we, we get it good.
Oh, you swift cast a stone in the... Oh, my God. I have that so often. I should really chill the fuck out with that. Okay, I'm starting to dislike black mages really much. What the fuck is up with them, man? Why do you see them wolf just standing there, watching, eyeballing the crap out of you? It's kind of stupid. I hate that depart. Hey, well, that was that was fun. See, I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing one part. See, I'm at 126. It's the clerical gloves that aren't good enough. Um, I think I'm shy, like, 60 points. 62. The tales do not do you justice, warrior of light. Yes, I know who you are, and you know who I am. I was given the name Izel, but I earned the name Iceheart. Izel? Okay, Izel and Iceheart, okay. Wait, I level 80? No fucking this way, dude. This endless cycle of hatred, of bloodshed, of sorrow. You would see it continue. O oh, noble warrior of light. I would not. I will not. I will bring an end to this war between dragon and man, no matter the cost. In time, you will come to understand that what we do, we do for the greater good. For Eorzea. For Hydaelyn. If the dungeon is set for like an eye level 80, what the fuck? But, but seriously, like, the if he's using gear, like, why would you, as a tank, why would you use accessory that aren't for you? Like, because I, I would assume you're lacking damage. We were lacking damage. I still believe we lacked damage during that dungeon. At least that's how, how I see it. I, I might be wrong on this. I like I might be an absolute idiot. I'm aware. What's the current area? Twenty points now. And he was a new either. Like it's not like he, he was a new Black Knight, Dark Knight, or whatever it is. I, I guess I just fucked up, you know? There's no other way saying it, oh, I fucked up. I used Benevolence during that one, that I know. He used that skill twice, where he drops his HP to like, one? The when I did the three, I think I did holy three times. And by the time I was out, I had to start healing the tank because those three monsters were still alive. I use banner on cooldown, uh, so it's cure to banner cure, and then that's a two minute cooldown, three minutes. 
Like, I, I'm starting to... Like, do we lack... Like, we don't have the great skills. Like, I think... Uh, what's it again? This is... This is so much a... Scholar skill, I think. Now, I'm... Obviously, duh. But... I had to really go in and, like, start healing everyone. And those three still... Yeah, right. That, that's good. Uh, this one. Because it does damage. Right? And also restores 5% max HP. This is amazing for a black mage. I wouldn't use this right at the start. Well, it, it only restores my AMP. Okay, never mind. That's really... Actually, that's quite handy. 5%, that would be... A thousand... No, no, not a thousand. A thousand is 10%. 500. Medication. Oh, well, we'll see when we get there. Your MP and heals everyone. Also MP? Because it didn't really say, like, it does MP for the entire group. Oh, anyways, we'll see. Um... That look that took longer than I expected. What, are you kidding me? So Eitwart is about a uh, Poseidon, yeah. That she managed to escape is regrettable, but from your description of that beast, you did well to come as close as you did. In any case, now that you have cleared the path, the Temple Knights can begin to survey the tun tunnels in earnest. Mayhap will... Mayhap they will even find a route past this ice wall. Couldn't that do wonder... Wouldn't that do wonders for their fight against heretics? The Crystal Braves would certainly share the credit for this one... For, the, for it too. Twelve be praised. We may yet turn the situation to our advantage. Assuming we stop Eyesight before the summoning of Shiva, of course. Needless to say, our fellow Scions have not been idle. Minfilia and Uranger have been busy pursuing the archives of the House for Tap, gathering what information they can on Shiva. Which reminds me, if you were intending to trudge back to Camp Dragonar to report on the day's events, don't. The dissident... Uh, should be here any minute. I can only assume some people enjoy subjecting themselves to the cold. Okay, for the greater good. First time ever someone wearing a coat. And dissident, you have um, you come to us straight from the archives of House for Tap. I trust your time there proved fruitful. Would that it had. Urenjai and I scoured countless texts, but what we found was of questionable veracity. Accounts of Shiva's life and deeds are sparse and contradictionary. Only agreeing upon one point, she laid down with a dragon. The gravest of all sins according to Isga, um, Isgardian faith. Yet in the eyes of Iceheart's followers, this was a holy act. The blessed union of a man and dragon. How such a thing could even be possible is quite another question. Suffice it to say... I very much doubt that we will find a useful answer in the archives of House for Tap. Much knowledge has been lost over the centuries, though it though in this case one wonders if it is by circumstance or design. It's by design. Because I, I think having those scriptures would prove you're a heretic and if you were condemned a heretic you okay, would kinda of like I don't know, burn you at the stake. I don't know. You said that Isa took a moment to plead her case prior to escape. Did you not? Of course I did say that. I, why would you else bring it up? Hmm. Viewed without prejudice. Uh, prejudice. Prejudice. Most would agree 
that bringing an end to an endless war serves the greater good. I think Sir uh, Emmerich might take issue with her methods. Ah, uh, you know, wars on two ends. I do not care if a few stranglers manage to escape. Until the sappers confirm that a, the tunnel is safe, the men are not to search it. Yes, Lord Commander. You will pursue your foes with less zeal than I expected, Emmerich. Lest I misunderstand, I do not deny that our enemy has given us good reason to be prudent. I merely meant, you being a man of faith, that I had expected a certain single-mindlessness. Single-mindedness. After all, was it not by the will of Hallelo Halone, Halone that your ancestors came to this land? Why they took up arms against the Dravonia, Dravanians. What would they have done in your position, I wonder? There are those who believe that faith is a renew... Wow! Renunication of free will. That unquestioning devotion is required of all who would live a life in service to the Fury. Such rightness uh, fervor may well serve a knight on the front line. Less so, uh, less so a leader of men, that's true. He needs to keep them alive. We, uh, we are all at liberty to imper interpret the scriptures as we will. I choose to believe that the Fuhrer would value lives of her followers over the deaths of her enemies. Ah, makes sense. Fight to live another day. Or live to fight another day. But I would not presume to speak for the Knights of Eld. It was a different time. Nay, a different era. The scriptures tell us only so much. Uh, would that it told us more? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, he's back. Oh, she is back. That man is awfully pragmatic for a servant of the Holy See. A welcome trait at the negotiation table to be sure, less so when one's enemies are taking ready to harness the power of a god. Mayhap he does not truly believe that Isaac's plan can succeed. Truth be told, I too remain somewhat skeptical. Shiva was really a living, breathing woman. Of that, there can be no doubt. In this respect, she differs for every other figure to have been summoned, each of whom was worshipped as a god. The sole exception being good King Mughal Morg XII, the myth made manifest in response to that fervor supplications of the Mughal's God. I, su I hate it sometimes how they speak. Like I, I think that at some points I think I can finally get it under control and then pff, down the drain. Saint Shiva may differ for what of the heretics. Uh, but what of the heretics? They are a tribe of outcasts at war with a mighty nation who yearn over the resurrection of the one who embodies their beliefs. If that is not placing one's faith in a higher power, then what is it? Is that true? Crystals and conviction, Menphila, they, uh, Menphilia, they have them both in abundance. Can that truly be all that is required? Uh, you said so yourself. 
My survey team has concluded that preliminary analysis of the etherite uh, ice heart used to escape. They believe she can teleport to another etherite somewhere not far to the west. Despite the apparent proximity of this second etherite, however, they have been wholly unable to detect its presence directly. Unless Isart has some means to mask its signal, I can only presume, uh, presume that uh, I can only presume presume I can only presume she had it destroyed to prevent us from following her. Without the means to teleport as she did, we have no choice but to search for an alternative route, most likely a tunnel, assuming one exists. Well, how did they place us a, a, an etherite if there isn't one? Let us not give or let us not give up on teleportation just yet. One of our colleagues in Charlene, Charlene, may be able to assist us. I pray that you're right. I dare not think how long it will take us to survey the entire tunnel system. Uh, while Menphilia looks into the etherite problem, I would like to request your assistance with another matter. The third unit is currently tracking the remnants of the heretic forces which attacked us. However, the search goes poorly despite our numbers. Kurtas is vast and Isaac's followers know the terrain far better than we. Your knowledge of the region may serve to hasten the process. The sooner we capture Isaac's followers, the sooner we can press them for their leader's whereabouts. Also, Though it is admirably a selfish request, I feel that my braves would benefit immensely from working alongside you. While we have our share of veterans, we also have more than a few less experienced recruits, many of whom look up to you in case you were not aware. Good. I know you would understand. Yu Yu Hase can apprise you of the details. When the task is complete, come and find me at the observer uh, observatorium. Captain Ilbert and I are meeting there to discuss the latest development in his investigation. The Temple Knight shall hold Snow Cloak in your absence. Let us leave them to their work. Ours is more pressing. I feel he's getting more snobbish. There you are. Command 11, you instructed me to wait for you. Your assistance is most welcome. Believe me, most of the third hail from Uldar, and for a man accustomed to the feel of sand between their boots, the, the crouch of snow can be rather discouraging. But to the matter at hand, nary a moment ago I received word that the heretics we seek have been spotted, making for Denif Pass. My braves are already in pursuit, and I should be grateful if you would join them. I myself shall be taking part in the hunt. Never let it be said that I do not earn my coin. Oh, he sure as hell loves his money, right? Okay, where do we need to go now? Oh, it's actually only over there. So that's all of the dungeons, right, in this particular map. I will probably do that particular dungeon a few more times, like in my downtime, just to get more familiar with it. Yeah, unique helmet, oh, antique helmet, antique breeches. We might be able to swap these in and then get more seals these I hope so here's a third unit brave well he's braving on his f knee it's great 12 balls my ankles on fire caught my boot on a rock or something and had it twisted as I fell the others went on through deafness pass 
hurry if you might catch up. If you aren't sure where to lo go, look for tracks. The snow is fresh, so they should be shouldn't be hard to find. Seriously. Oh, never mind. That's a freakish long way down. Let's go. Look for tracks. Just look on your map and we've marked the location where you should go. Okay, they're going in that direction, okay. The track leads southeast. Wait, where did he twist his ankle? Here or all the way on the other side? There's the next one. He lost the others. Scott, what are you doing here? The heretics? I'm not sure. Uh, there was a great scale beast and... Uh, you, you has it? I think I think he went went east on his own. The heretics split up. So did we. It's kind of stupid, isn't it? Why would you do that? Yep. Start with him, he's a caster. Okay. How embarrassing. I was so intended on following the heretic's tracks that I almost failed to notice they had a double oh they had double back. Oh, Almost, mind you. I tried to sneak up behind. They tried to once tried to sneak up behind me, and got a knife. And got a knife in the guts for his trouble. I fought myself. Uh, I fought myself alone, so I started searching the dead man's knapsack for anything interesting. And lo, behold! Before his friends found me, I came upon this. Withdraw in groups of three or less to the observer observatorium. Give the signal and wait. The merchant will be watching. Be late and be left for dead. Speaking uh, speaks for itself, doesn't it? They can't possibly they can't possibly mean to rendezvous inside the place. So we should restrict our search to the surrounding areas. That makes sense. Let me rephrase that. You should restrict your search to the wilderness around the observatorium. I will need more than a moment's rest to recover from these wounds. Always the same with these fellas. Always the same with these fellas. Just quickly hover over the ground. Would they attack? That would be something, isn't there? There he is. You, you're a heretic. To the stake. I am though with I am true with listening to your excuses. We leave now. Oh, look at the purple. How? The woods are crawling with those blue coats and the knights are searching every wagon that passes through the gates. And here we are, just casually walking up to you. Well, stay with her then, if you think you're far any better. Far or fair? Now, no, there's no need for that. Look at that blade, it's kind of cool.
Uh, there are places like this in my homeland. Scared snowcaps peaks where blood must not be shed. What? Yet our lands, uh, lands ever first for the blood of the fallen. And by your deeds, it has drunk deep. No, I've done nothing wrong. None but meet in secret with heretics. Deny it all you will. We shall have the truth from you yet. Inquisitors are not the only ones skilled in the arts of interrogation. Or torture. It means torture. Damn it all. Oh wow, that's dramatic. <gasps> Fancy meeting you here. I presume your work with the third brought you Hilter. What a treggle web. Lest you wonder, we came not for the heretics but for the merchant who has been conspiring with them. He came to our attention during the course of our investigation into the ivy. If beggars believe, I know. Uh, it beggars believe. I know. But it seems our favorite guardian spy may have been providing assistance to Ice Hut. Uh, were it not for the efforts of Lady Yuguri and her shinobi, we might never have discovered this connection. Master Alphanot is too kind. I feel my people and I done little to aid your search for this spy. We long to strike back at the Empire and weaken their influence in this land. To prevent the tragedy which befell Doma for reoccurring. The days I had and the work they promise will require a very particular set of, our sk of skills. Skills which I am fortunate enough to possess. If you will allow it, I would accompany you until this investigation is complete. That's a most generous offer, lady. And, you, and one which I'll gladly accept. Thank you. Though I may disappear for a time, know that I shall never be far and shall always be watching. A comforting, a comforting thought. Not when you're in the shower it isn't. Well, maybe. Let us wait inside for Captain Ilbert to return and deliver his report. Wait, what? what? Wait, the chocobo's already done again. Not over there. Oh wait, wait, wait inside. I was thinking like the warmth of a fireplace. Yeah, he's waiting out. Well, he's still in front of a fireplace. Now, why are you pointing your ass to him? Come here, damn bird. Captain Hilbert seems confident that the merchant's resolve would swiftly crumble when pressed. If so, we should have new information along. As to where it brings us, as to whether it brings us any closer to learn the Ivy's identity, I would rather not say. Given our adversary's cunning, I shall consider us fortunate if we are if we are spared another wild dodo chase. The gods know we have more than, uh, more than enough to occupy our time as it is. Okay. Are we going to be dealing with... Yeah, actually we're getting the uh, the top. I, I would say we're almost there then. Tendrils of intrigue. Tum tum tum. I think that's almost the end of 2.4 then. Captain, your report, if you will. Aye. Commander. Firstly, when regarding to the heretic we captured, I regret to say that the man could tell us not that we did not already know of Shiva. We have since handed him over to the Ishgardian authorities. Henceforth, the Holy See will pursue the matter independently. So basically, <laughs> he's dead already. Our inquiries concerning the ivy, however, have proven more fruitful. We have ascertained the channel by which the heretics acquired their information on the shipment routes. 
Go on. You will recall the flame we first identified as being the Ivy's employee. That's in the Ivy's employee. From him, we were able to trace a trail of conspiratus, each taking us closer to his master. Alas, the trail came to an abrupt, uh, abrupt end. Fearing that the inv investigation had been compromised, we took the measures, uh, necessary steps to of detaining all suspects of conspiracy. Really? There were five on our list, including the flame station at Reverend Toll. The man's prior duties was to keep the inventory of donations from abroad, the particulars of which he would share with benefactors, thereby ensuring that needs did not go unfulfilled. Okay. By virtue of his role, he was privy to the detail of all shipments bound to the settlement. Needless to say, that includes those originating from the house for ta For to. That was right. For to. He knew the precise route the caravan would take, and he sold that information to a merchant. I think I can guess which one. None other. With a little encouragement, he soon confessed to... Uh, knowingly aiding and abetting the heretics. Well, that is one mystery solved at least. But what of the ivy? Are we any closer to pressing off, prizing off his mask? I dare say we are, Commander. Our relentless pursuit has forced him to commit a grave error. Wait, really? In a desperate bid to cover his track, the Ivy resorted to exercising certain administrative powers available only to higher ranked members of the Immortal Flames. <laughs> oh, that is kind of stupid, isn't it? If we consider them that if we consider then that our investigation is known to a barely a handful of them, the field of suspect is greatly narrowed. You mean to say that the agent is amongst Ra uh, Rauban's innermost circle that would make a lot of sense someone who has been with him since the immortal flames establishment it's the most plausible explanation the infiltration likely occurred during the company's founding with the groundwork for the act being laid beforehand to slip into a position of a to slip into a position of authority unremarked and remained above suspicion all those years. I, I too was surprised though. I really should not have it, it though I really should not have been. Of the three grand companies, Ulda was ever the most vulnerable to infiltration. Both Limsa Leminza and Gradania had long stand, standing armed forces that lend themselves well to the information of the Maelstrom and the Order of the Twin Adder. To all intents and, pursue, pur and purposes, it was the same people, loyal ones, mind, under the same leadership, only the banner was different. Not so the flames. Ulda's military ma was made up to dis disparate, disparate orders. Disparate orders. Most of which were glorified mercenary companies that answered only to their own paymaster. Hardly an ideal environment in which to establish something as high minded as a grand company. Thus, difficulties Roban faced when founding the Immortal Flames are well known. Even after he had convinced his fellow syndicate members to share the cost, they remained, there remained a small matter of finding enough bodies to fill the ranks. Indeed, and given the pressing nature of the Imperial threat, that means recruiting every passing sellsword. Amidst the chaos of its founding, it would have been, a, it would have been child's play to infiltrate the company. A good deal easier than that now, I. The immortal flames have ever been caught between conflict's interest, the public and the private. 
Though the monetarists ultimately agreed to support the organization's founding, it was not out of charity that they did so, but simple self-preservation. Had Neil van Dana's ambition been less apo apocalyptic, you may be sure that they would never have risked supplying Roban with an army. It is but a wonder that they did not attempt to extinguish the flames the moment the danger had passed. <clears throat> Returning to the present. Even as we speak, our dome and allies are shadowing several high-ranked flames. Any one of those could be the Ivy. My God. Desiring to deal a blow against the Empire. The refugees were eager to lend us their aid. I, I expect to hear from them ere long. Very good. Pray continue your investigation with the first. Meanwhile, have the second attend to the unrest. The third can join the fourth in inspecting the crystal ship. Wow, it sounds so militaristic. If, you, if they notice anything unusual, I want to know about it. If Shiva is summoning in, is summoned in like manner, what? If Shiva is summoned in like manner to the other primals, the heretics will be looking for further supplies. Understood, Commander. I shall send word to Sir Emmerich, informing him of our success in identifying the heretics' abettors. Hopefully, the information will be of some use to the Isgardians. It is time, Commander. Yes, I am aware. An emergency council of the Alliance leadership has been called. There have been developments in Garland, it would seem. As commander of the Crystal Brave, my presence has been requested. I would have you accompany me as the realm's stoutest champion. It's only, it only meets that you be present for the discussion. Why? Why? I don't know. Why? I'm just, I'm not commander. Actually, I'm a lieutenant. It's fine. I'm, I'm, I, as a lieutenant of the Maelstrom, I think I should be there as well. Ah, and the dissident has already given her consent, lest you wonder. No one was wondering that. No one was like, oh my, I hope Minfilia is okay with that. Like me, you are doubtlessly eager to continue our business with Iceguard. Iceheart. Iceguard. But until another path of her sanctum is found, she shall remain beyond our reach. Minfilia and the Arkans are sparing no effort to secure an alternative route. Unless such time as they succeed, I suggest we give some thought to the realm's other problems. I shall go to Gradania in readiness of the coming council. Meet me at uh, Nofirx altar and we shall make our way to the Lotus Stand together. He says together and then he disappears off by himself. Why won't you take me with you? Why? Why does he hate me? Old Gridania it is. Who's actually online in the EFC at the moment? Let's take a quick look. Uh, I need to get actions. Uh, so if we get to Ulda, we'll uh, we'll get over there as well. Okay, let's go here. And then to the Lotus Stand, which is at the Conjurer's Guild. I kind of hope we finish 2. I think we're actually very close at finishing 2.4. My thanks for coming. When you are ready, speak to the con. I know that. Change has come to the Garlean Empire, and we must discuss the implications. The rumors are true, then? The War of Succession is ended. 
It is. A new emperor reigns in Garlemald. It's it's kind of a shame we don't get any info on that war in Garlemald. You know, it, it would have been fun. Maybe there are like missions that I have yet to come across. Who? The birth and all too rapid expansion of the Garlean Empire is commonly attributed to the strategic brilliance of Solus Zosgalvis, yet he did not rule alone. Several members of the royal household also distinguished themselves during his reign. Nevertheless, it was the eldest son who stood to inherit the throne until his most untimely passing. Well, he was killed. I thought us fortunate when I learned that the Emperor had died without naming a successor. He absolutely looks like a badass. Holy shit. I'll make some pictures here and there, sorry for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> would that the Garlean Empire had died with him. What's up with those? Man, you've not slept for like a decade. That's interesting actually, that a bit of spit is actually still visible over there. What the fuck? Twas the grandson and his uncle who had the strongest claims, was it not? Oh, the Darth Vader. Oh, no. Indeed. Yet claims count for little without the power to assert them. High Legatus Varus Ye Galvis is a respected military leader. Not so his uncle. So young Varus has torn the crown from his uncle's grasp and taken his place at the head of the Empire. Of this scenery, though. Fucking epic. I like it. Given the troubled nature of his succession, the new emperor will require time to seal his grip on power. Yet have no doubt but that he shall, for there are none left with strength enough to oppose him. Since the success of Operation Archon, the remnants of the 14th Legion and the forces occupying Alamigo have done naught but fortify their positions. But you can be sure they'll be ready to march on us again, if their Emperor gives the word. When, not if. They say this Varus was so set upon Eorzean annexation that he spoke out against the Meteor Project. Oh, so actually he wants to annex Eorzea, the others just kind of want to destroy Eorzea. Plainly, the new Emperor's intentions are of great concern to us all. I propose that we set aside the Cartano dispute for the present, and discuss what measures the Alliance might take to prepare for a resumption of hostilities with Garlemald. Moreover, I move that we re-examine the question of how our former allies in Ishgard might be persuaded to retake their place at our side. Could Eorzea but stand as one, twould deal a grave blow to our enemy's ambitions. Uh, more talks. Sure.
That was a nice looking table actually. Could we make that? Would that be possible? Well, I suppose we should be grateful that they have finally acknowledged the inevitability of Imperial attack. Who knows? They may even do something about it. I always rem I get reminded by the way he, st he speaks like, oh, we already knew this was going to happen, you know, they, they finally woke up. And now they know as well. If only the leaders of Ishgard would follow their example and stop hiding behind their gates, praying for the coming storm to pass them by. But that is a discussion for another time. At present, I am more concerned by the fact that the Alliance's mooted preparations will be made known to the Garleans many moons before their coming. So long as the Ivy eludes our grasp, no secret is safe. All right. I'm hoping we go to Ulda. Like I said, I need some company actions. Uh, it will not have escaped your notice that the nations of Eorzea are no nearer to being of one purpose. Despite their prostitution? Pros Protest. Despite their protestations to the contrary, plainly, the threat of a resurgent Garlemald, Garlemald is not enough to stir them. And the reason for this, deep-rooted mistrust against the citizenry. The nation's leaders can come to all the understanding they like, but their, unite, uh, but their unity means little and less to the common folk. Take the Limon uh, Lim Limnsians. I can Lominsians. I cannot pronounce this. I don't know why. Lominsians, for instance. Though at may have outlawed piracy over a decade ago, foreigners still picture the nation as a haven for grog swingling wood legged cutthroats. And likewise the Cardanians are mocking are mocked as hermits who talk to trees and the Uldans scorned as swindlers who worship coin. Not that mo such sentiments are entirely without grounds, of course. Taken the pillar of Uldan society, Telegi Alelegi, Al for example, but that is beside the point. The fact is that people are wary of outsiders, whether they have cause to be or not. On that basis, I would argue that the conf uh, conflict on Chardonnay is a necessary evil. Each nation has its own warmon warmongering faction that advocates the acquisition of Omega. In order to placate them, we present them uh, something resembling warfare and thereby crop their appetite for full-scale conflict. But enough idling of idle muttering, let us speak of a more pressing matter, the Ivy. Since we spoke at the observatorium, Captain Ilgbert has further shortened his list of suspects and by happy coincidence, the one he deems the most likely candidate is near uh, is lately come to Gradania. The hunt nears its end, Une. All that remains is to corner our quarry. Seek out Ilbert at the Atlas Nest. He will give you the particulars. Should there be any developments in Kurtas, you may sure that I will send word without delay. And meantime, uh, I wish you success in apprehending the ivy. What was the guy jumping about? <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's 
Let's go over there. Oh, wait, over here. Wait, there's another blue quest? The tendrils of... Oh no. Okay, what's this about? Oh no. I'm not going... I'll read the part. I'm not going to do it right now. Because this is the... I think the extreme version of him. Well, if it is that's a slayer from moon, come to seek me in the flesh. How fortunate that you should have happened by. I was in fact on the verge of sending a runner to track you down. We have some troubling news from the sylphs of little Solens. It appears the Lord of Levin walks the twelve foot yet again. From what I understand from the Elder Seedseer's explanation, your last encounter with the Primal was a relatively peaceful affair. There was a battle, I but one of which Ramun did not begrudge your victory. Why then? Has he returned to the forest? It's you, Une, whose fate has chosen to uncover the answer to that question. It seems that uh, Frixio, the self-elder, would discuss the matter with you personally. Speak first with Delixia in Little Solens, and she will announce your arrival to the leader. Aye. And I would also consider it a favor if you could pass along ought, your, or, ought you learn to the science. As I understand, uh, uh, Ankor Urenje is a keen scholar in the field of all matters primal. Uh, pray make uh, your final report to him. At some point I do hope we'll get more people to do these extremes. Um, but for now... Uh, it will just be on, on my list. Uh, not this one. This one. Sorry. If we come... If we go to Little Solent... Sure, I'll, I'll talk. Because this is... Um, reality to the Etherite in So that's basically, you know, it. Fear of Odin Shroud is confronting Odin. The Corporate Room is entering. Primal Waking is... Uh, report to mysteries and visit to Wineport. We could potentially do that. You know, I'll open these up because we have some stuff to do in them. Instead of just talking. Like uh, attuning to the crystallite. That's easy. This is actually confronting. Uh, the Wolf of Worry is enter. Enter. Uh, enter. Uh, this is an extreme ultima. And this is the Vizzle Stone Heart, can be accessed by the Duty Finder. If we happen to go and, and do it for some weird reason, we get into that. Then, you know, it is what it is. But it's just a bit of a change and, and nothing too, you know, spectacular. I should actually, I kind of do want to do them though. I'll see. I'll see if I can get a group together. My thanks for coming, Cyan. Doubtless the command has informed you, but we have unmasked the ivy. From this point on, we must proceed with extreme caution. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's try it on. Oh yeah, that looks absolutely amazing. I love the purple with that. Very, very nice. Let's take it. Uh, is our companion leveled? No, he is not. Man, you are failing me badly, my dear Chocobo. Settle back. This is the Ninja Samurai piece. So this is one, two, three, four, five of them. Do I need that? Not really, I will just turn them in. Unique, unique, uh, unique. Wow, antique, antique, antique. Oh man, that, that kind of sucks. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, chasing the ivy and we get the even star coat. Let's try that on. Yeah, you're actually becoming a... What the fuck's with that tail? I get I have a tail, but... Okay. Not judging. Listen well. The spy we have been seeking all this time is none other than the flame marshal Eline uh, Rosaline. Le Rauban second in command. 
Prior to joining the Immortal Flame, she was a mercenary of no small renown. They say her skill with a pole arm had to be seen to be believed. Of Ishgardian birth, she is the highest ranking f ranked foreigner in the Immortal Flames, bearing the flame a uh, bearing the flame general himself, of course. Okay, so absolutely second in command. When we formed the Grand Company, Roban chose people based on their worth. Wench they hailed has of no interest. The monetarists saw things differently, however. Having funded the Enterprise, they reserved the right to reject candidates nomina uh, nominated from high-ranked positions. It was no secret that they did not favor foreigners, as guardians especially, after the way the Holy Seer foretook, uh, yeah, foretook the alliance. Yet the monetarists did not raise so much as a murmur of protest when Rosalind was appointed to a post. Passing strange, is it not? Could it be that the Ivy has some hold over the monetarist? Tum tum tum. But uh, these revelations are secondary to our current mission. Of foremost interest to us is Rosalind's presence here now. As you may be aware, it is the duty of the Flame Marshal to command the Immortal Flames in the absence of the, of the Flame General. While Rabon attended the Council of Alliance, leader she should have remained in the Hall of Flames. Then she was there actually. The woman has no business being in Gridania. Yet, here she is nonetheless, uh, on some pretense. She is up to something, mark my words. Even as we speak, I have a dozen men trawling the flames records for evidence of Rosalind's guilt. But if we can catch her red-handed, we shall have all the proof we need. Which brings me to the plan. I have people watching the city gate, the airship landing, the docks, every point of Agris. Icarus. She cannot leave without our knowledge. All that remains is to shadow her until she betrays her true purpose. Can I re uh, rely upon your eyes, Cyan? I got my goggles for it. You have my thanks. Let's go then. And take care and take care not to alert our query. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, Little Sol is quite nearby. Okay, where is this? This is still in Gridania, which is definitely nearest then. Why is he stalking him? Okay. Rosalind is heading in the direction of Blue Badger Gate. With me, sign. So, Rosalind has entered the Carolyn can uh, Canopy. Meeting someone, perchance, or could it be she means to board an airship? Pray look for her within, if she is not on the upper floor, try the landing area below. One of mine is stationed there, and she may have taken, uh, seen something. Ephelim is a name and shall remain in case uh, Rosalind appears. Okay. So, she's not here, she already says so. We go down and talk to this person. I'm sure she's saying, like, I've not seen her. Such an unexpected pleasure, what brings you here? <clears throat> Social visit, you say? How pleasant. No, she did not come this way. I've noted every passenger and none bore any resemblance. Well, don't let me keep you out.
Nowhere to be seen, you say? You're sure she didn't board an airship? Hmm. She did not come back out either. Where in the seven hells could she have gone? The roost! How could I forget? Greetings, good sir. Might I interest you in some Montoy tonic? A, a cup a day in butts a man with great vigor. If you take my meaning. <laughs> Perhaps another time, friend. <clears throat> Wait, that necklace. You're a shinobi of Doma. The woman you seek has left Gradanias by way of Westport, West Shore Pier. She was attired as a merch. She was attired as a merchant, but these eyes are not so easily deceived. You may wish to take your search to the Eastern Shroud. Rest assured that we shall continue to support you from the shadows. Thank the Twelve for the Domans. Were it not for their unique talents, Rosalind would have disappeared without a trace. Okay, so we have the gear that we want for the Red Mage, as well as for the... Uh, samurai. So I'm putting them in here, not just using them. Uh, Hans leads us to the Eastern Shroud sign. Uh, I suggest we follow Rosalind and take the ferry. Why? Why? I can just teleport there. You'd be doubtless wishing to take certain pre preparations. See to them while I go on ahead. I shall wait for you at Sweet Bloom Pier. Uh, that's fine. We, we can immediately go if you don't mind. Yeah, we will definitely finish 2.4. Uh, so next time we can do 2.5, which I will most likely spend a freaking week doing, but then it's Heaven's Ward. Which I'm actually very excited about. Okay, here's the... Wait. Yeah, okay. Uh, Street Bloom Pier. Yep. Let's do it. So, and also, this is where... The Judgment Bolt of Lightning goes. So, in Little Solons. And I did say, if we came across it, we would do it. So, yeah, we will most likely just do it. Not finish it, but at least get to a point where we can open it. Ah, this way, my friends. Yuguri is there as well. The master herself. Yuguri makes for a uh, Hatton hut. If Rosalie is truly the one we seek, we can expect that she means to make contact with the guardian masters there. An explanation is in order. You are no doubt aware that the guardians have their own method of communicating over great distances. Well... Our ingenious friend at Gar uh, Garland Ironworks have provided us with a device which disrupts these communications. And we have installed them around the city-states. In so doing, we have made it difficult for Imperial agents to correspond with their masters. Rosalind would thus have no choice but to rendezvous with her Imperial contact directly. Yet, as a well-known face of the Immortal Flame, she cannot move about Teladan without being recognized. It would only be a matter of time before someone saw through her disguise. It's for this reason I believe that she came. Uh, she, uh, she has chosen the back shroud for her clandestine uh, meeting. Clandestine, clandestine, clandestine. The Elzen are a common sight here, and her comings and goings are not likely to turn any heads. As my scouts tell it, the Guardians have sent agents well uh, with a mind to destroy the devices and render such direct uh, contact unnecessary. Fortunately, our shinobi have thus far been successful in rebuffing their efforts. 
So they've been constantly killing spies. Yay. This is it. We need only make Vartone hut and catch Rosaline in the act. Will it be that easy? Will it actually be that easy? Okay. My people report that Aquari has departed from Bramble Patch. Or for Bramble Patch, which is in the north. The Ivy returns to the uh, Growls when she came. But perhaps it's all for the better. To convince someone of her standing, we need to require damning evidence against her. What could be better than to catch her in the act when she meets with her Guardian Masters? My countryman and I shall lie and wait in the shadows. Threat very uh, warily, my friends. So Bramble Patch is up there. Yeah, we'll finish this and then go to Little Sol. Shall we do Little Solons now? No, well, we'll keep on the mission. For the time being. Just beyond, Rosalind is in conversation with an individual clad in the manner of an adventurer. An imperial intermediary. 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 Wow. No doubt. That is it. With me. Play Marshal Aline Rosale. Uh, Ro Roale. Wow, why can I not pronounce it anymore? Because I've been pronouncing it wrong. Rosaline, I've been telling. There's no S. Roale. Whatever. You are under arrest for treason and espionage. You are followed, you bloody fool. Damnation. I love these domains. They got level one daggers though. It's kind of weird. Hmm. You are unarmed, my lady, and scars uh, scarcely garbed for battle. But if you wish to fight, you are welcome to try. What is the meaning of this, Captain? Would you arrest me for strolling in the Twelfth Wood? When last I looked, there was no crime, and neither was conversing with passing strangers. You would uh, feign ignorance then. Very well. If you do not think of uh, something to say, there will be plenty of time to say it later. Now come quietly, or I shall make you wish you had. I will offer no struggle. After all, I have not to hide. That was easy. Okay, let's talk to Yuri. Yuguri. <clears throat> Is 
Is it Rowalil? Rowail. Rowail. Um, by the way, the summer event started now. Starting in Limsa's upper dicks. Way to go, man. Even a warrior of, of uh, Roel is a renown. Could not have hoped to escape by force. Desperate claims her, sur uh, her surrender does not bespeak innocence. But a awareness of her position is untenable. Untenable? With the IVs does uprooted, it is to be hoped that the tendrils she entwined around the immortal flames will gradually wither and die. Mayhap when the people of Ulda will have the grand company they deserve. But let us speak of the present. If I may ask, what will you do now? Uh, take a vacation. So the sands seek way into Ice Heart Sanctuary. Then I dare say you are eager to return to the Rising Stone. Pray do not let me keep you. Fear not, my countrymen, and I shall tend to the aftermath. You do not need to. You you need not waste your talents here. And speaking of talents, you have been trained in the art of the shinobi, have you not? The change in your bearing is quite evident to me, at least. I look forward to seeing you in action. Till next time, my friend. This is actually w cool. I like that that they actually added that. Because I have actually, I I am a, a ninja. I'm, I'm masquerading as heal, that's why I fucking feel and to be white. Mm. Go to little Solens. Um, the Moonfire Fairy Seasonal has begun. Okay, what does this? What the, what does it in hold? What, what what's the uh, event about? Okay, here we go. Walking One is here. Has Walking One heard of Lord Ramoon's return? Then this one does not need to explain. Walking One should wait here while this one fetched Elder One. I'll go to Limsa. I, I need to go to Ulda. I need to go to Limsa. Both of the destinations. Walking One is most welcome to these one's home. Gentle side of wind and trees and brooks told these ones. Of walking one's peaceful words with Lord Ramu. These ones also heard that Thunderous One challenged Walking One to battle. This one is certain that Lord Ramu was pleased with Walking One's strength. And such strength Walking One has. Arrow should it once often tell grand tales of Walking One. Arrow shooting ones often tell grand tales of walking one. And these ones are glad to call walking one friend. But this one must warn walking one. Touched ones have summoned Ramu once more. And this time with the offering of many, many more crystals. This one does not think thunderous one means to bring judgment to Gridania after all. Lord Ramu made a special promise to walking one. It is the intentions of Touch Ones that concerned me. Touch Ones yet act in fear and in hate. Even should L Lord Ramu ignore Touched Ones' destructive wishes, his presence alone drains the land of Ether. It is not just Gridania, but the entire realm that Thunderous One threatens. Life will seep from the soil, crops will wither and die. Then, Though Lord Ramu will it otherwise, Walking One will go to war over what remains. This one begs brave and courage ones to fight again. Dutch ones must understand that summoning Thunderous One is futile. That Thunderous One respects the strength of Walking One. Sure. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, uh, we'll know you do the right thing. We'll come and know it's striking trick. So we need to go there and touch the crystal like with the other one. So we'll just fly there, drop down, uh, finish. We'll not do it, of course, but we'll finish that uh, small part of it. Let's just quickly hasten ourselves over there. And attune to the crystal. Uh, we'll have to go to Wineport as well. 
which we have a ticket for, and we have to go to Natalan. There it is. Okay, well. Let's quickly attune. And we'll finish up this mission. There we go. Which is bolt. Okay, Gil Force warning is in Kurtas. Quickly go there. Then we will go. Okay, Minfilia is in Kurtas. No, it's not in Kurtas. He is in Mordona. This one's also easy. We just fly over the mountain. See how we can go. Yeah, I still need to get some people to do it. Willingness to do it, by the way. Willingness. Because... The primals can be an absolute annoyance. Uh, but they do drop a mount. So that does actually interest me quite a bit. And I know we need to get that guy for some seals. How many do we actually need? They're the... Um, this one. Free. Bolt wing. Uh, these guys. No, not Tillon. This one. Five? Yeah, we'll do that another time. Definitely don't feel like doing it now. We always need seals. What are these guys doing here? Okay. Okay, we can now get in there. So now it's confront. This is in the Rising Stone. Talk to Minfilia. Primal Awakening is... Okay, we'll, we'll just quickly do that. Vespa Bay. Right? That is in Vespa Bay, right? Oh my god. It's not. It's a wine port. I used a ticket for nothing. Oh well, it is what it is. Alice. It has been a while, adventurer. As I recall, my brother Alfinot took the liberty of introducing us uh, when first and last we meet. But for the sake of pro property, property? Uh, Alice Lavigneur. Thank you for coming. I had heard much and more of your exploit, but uh, by your hand, the Black Wolf is slain and his Ultima weapon destroyed. You are possessed of great strength and courage, that much is plain. I shall have need of one such as you. If I am to see my mission true to its conclusion. There's one thing I need to check real quick. Is my... Yeah, it's down mixed to mono. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, people would now start hearing it to the right. I always down mix it to mono. Bring it back over here. Um, as you may be aware, the violence of Dalamund's fall changed not only the face of the realm but also the base of the realm uh, spe uh, specifically specifically it played havoc with the etheric current creating vast 
confluences of ether below the surface, among other phenomena. This led to the formation of subterranean caverns, like po uh, key points of stress. One such cavern lies beneath Castrum Ossidens and extends to only the gods know where. Despite appearances, the Castrum is much more a research facility as it is a fortress. Guys from Belsa took the site for no other reason than to probe the cavern without interference. As you were about vanishing the returned primals, I observed a repeating p uh, wave pattern in the ether, corresponding exactly to the dates on which you were reported to have felt Ifrit, Titan and Garuda. Upon closer examination, it became clear that these unique wave uh, forms emanate, uh, wow, emanated from deep between the aforementioned stronghold. Crucially, I recorded the same pattern during the recent celebrations and have since been given to understand that this phenomena bears a disquieting similarity to one observed shortly prior to the calamity. Five years ago, my grandfather invoked the power of the Twelve that he might contain Baumuth. Alas, his efforts failed and he vanished together with his foe. I would know the truth of what transpired that day, of grandfather's faith, and of what metamorphosis we swept, of the met metamorphosis that swept across the land. In casting light upon these mysteries, we will find a way to cure that ails this word. And this they speak in riddles to me, man. It is my belief that the answers I seek lie hidden in the depths of the cavern and would have you accompany me to a expedition to find them, you know. Am I still you can still hear me correctly, right? I'm just testing things out right now. If I speak into it, I, I'm always afraid of pops. If truth be told, I am not only to relay a uh, relay upon others and have thus far handled matters alone yet I am not blind to my limitations unescorted I cannot hope to succeed in this endeavor I swore that I would find a way to restore peace to Eorzea if you desire to s the, if you desire the self same then aid me as you aided my brother in science I am in your debt you are a woman of action and I sense that we will accomplish much together. But let us not waste any more time. As I mentioned, the Castrum Strandles, uh, Strandles, the cavern I wish to explore. If I am, if I'm to have hope of reaching it alive, I will need to infiltrate Stronghold first and locate the path uh, into the depths. Once you have done so, pray report your success to Storm Private. To the Storm Private, you may consider her my assistance here in Whiteboard. I have every faith that you will not fail me. Twelve, speed your way, Une. Seriously? I thought you needed an escort. What the f... Okay, fine. Fine. Fight your way through, it'll just fly over it and land where you need to be. What's up with the lightning? Wait, where's the lightning? Why is there lightning? I honestly don't know. I'll just start killing these guys.
I took them a long time to realize they were under attack. Okay. That's it. Oh, that's the wrong button, actually. Why could we not just wait? No fucking way. No. We landed over there. Could have just strolled in there. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's go to the Storm Private. And we shall in in inspect her since we are lieutenant. Oh. Very well. Uh, I've been expecting you. Okay, just just it's very familiar. By your coming, I take it you have successfully located the cavern in uh, entrance inside the castrum. So that's where it's to be found. Marvelous. Oh. But allow me to properly introduce myself. Um, Yabroka is my name, and it is my honor to serve Lady Alicia. Though, for reasons of conven uh, convenience, at present I also serve the Maelstrom. This uniform uh, accords me certain privilege privil oh, wow, privileges, you see. In particular, ready access to the Maelstrom Regional Scout Reports. They provide a wealth of local knowledge, including information on secret passages. But enough about me, I shall notify the lady of your discovery uh, that she may prepare for an expedition. Though I don't doubt your abilities, none can say what dangers lurk beneath the castrum. For my lady's sake, as well as your own, please spare neither preparations nor caution. Pray chose your companions well. Binding Call of Bahamut. Yeah, that is the one that was still missing. Like, I knew I was missing one. Uh, in there. This is... Something I do want to do at some point, but I want to do it with the FC. So, with that done, uh, we can now quickly... Uh, go to... Well, we'll go to Minfilia. I'll do the Undalian stuff like later because I do want to wrap it up. Still need to vacuum and need to dust the plinths, walk the dogs, get some rest. You know, stuff. Also, did we get more? No, it's a 313, which is a bit of a shame. I need like 365, I think. Wait, wait, wait. I thought... There is a dagger in there. A dagger? A, an axe? And they're waiting until she messes up. That's what she's there doing. They're like, how long will it take? <laughs> how long will she mess up with that axe? Okay, Minfilia. Welcome back. I understand Alfinot had a task for you. May I ask what it was? Charge of treason and espionage against Ellen Roali. Roala. Roai Roal. Whatever. You I can scarce believe it. I think this is probably like some French thing. Could uh, there not have been some other matter or some manner of misunderstanding? No, it avails us not to dwell on it. Whatever the truth may be, we must trust to the authorities to uncover it. Let us speak of another matter. I am pleased to report that we have made progress in our efforts to finding the way to Aishar's sanctum. Wait, we're still not done then? Fuck no. I was actually on the assumption that we should be very, very close to it.
It's actually part three. Um, no, we're not. Wow. This is a long one. The fuck. I honestly believe that we would be, um... Interesting. Okay. We'll see. As you may recall, Isard used the Ifrite in the depths of Snow Cloak to teleport a short distance to the west. Most likely to a sanctum of some description. It is there that we suspect she means to summon Shiva using the crystal she stole from the house for Tep's caravan. The heretics believe... Is this the right? Yeah, why was it up there? The heretics believe that they are bringing about the second coming of their patron saint. But if we suspect, they mean to hold summoning ritual of the kind employed by the last beast tribe. It seems likely that the result will be something more akin to a primal. Suffice to say, we must it must be stopped. And stop them we shall, but first we must uh, surmount the obstacle that Iceheart has placed in our path. Ordinarily, it would be simple matter to tap into the established Ethernet and thereby following our query. However, despite our best efforts, we have been unable to ascertain the position of the Etherite to which she teleported. Our prevailing theory is that she destroyed the second Etherite upon arrival. A reckless, desperate measure, but also an effective one. After discussing the matter in length with Uranger, we have concluded that we lack the experience to develop a solution. Which is why we have called upon an aid of one who does possess such expertise. A colleague of ours who is currently en route to Reverend Stoll from Shalalane. She should be arriving within the hour effect. Since you are here, may we could welcome her together. I'm certain she would appreciate the gesture. Let us make our way to the northern gates and await her coming. This is a very long chapter. 2.4 is massively long. It's, it's, it's a lot more than with the others. I've not been sidetracked too deeply. Well, that's not really true. Because we did do the, um, the dungeon on the Arcanist. Uh, I did do some free company stuff. And I just did the primal thing. But that didn't take too long. No. <laughs> Menphilia, am I right? None other. I bid you welcome to Revenant's Toll, and thank you for traveling so far on such short notice. <laughs> As if I could ever say no to Uriange. Moonbreeder is an accomplished Charlian scholar and an authority on etherite technologies. She has played an invaluable role in our search for a means to capture Asian souls. Charmed, I'm sure. Yeah, very. Uh, let's take a look here. Would we'll just start a quest or just continue it? Let's take a look. No. Let us return to the Rising Stone at once. Then we have much to discuss.
I will actually, uh, I will call it after this. I'm sorry, but I have, I have to do stuff uh, before I need to pick up my wife. And if I didn't, well, they say happy wife, happy life. And I do try to live by that. Sister. A joyous reunion indeed. Well, of course it is. Moon and I are like twin sisters. Yeah, I see the resemblance. Save in appearance and aptitude. Just kick him. Everyone? If I could have your attention. We have with us an esteemed guest who has come from Shalian to assist us. I bid Moonbreeder join us here that she might share with us her extensive knowledge of etherites. Also, as many of you are already aware, she has been overseeing our research into white orosite, a sample of which she has been good enough to bring with her. Well, I had to come, didn't I? You'd have to be bloody daft to turn your nose up at a chance like this. Where better to conduct my final tests than a land so steeped in ether you can taste it? Tis plain the passage of the years hath done little to dampen thy youthful spirits. And nothing at all to reform thy youthful manner. Jay, where in the hells have you been hiding? Uh, unhand me. I come all this way, and that's what you have to say to me. I much yeah. preferred when you were pleading with me to drop everything and hurry to your side. What was it you said? None save thee can satisfy this need. Okay, go on. Wow. Wow. Ah. Uh. Thine artless attempts to misrepresent mine all too innocent motives do thee little credit. <clears throat> mine intent, as well thou knowest, was but to impress upon thee the gravity of the circumstance. Lest thou doubt, a deiform entity shall shortly be summoned, save if thou and no other grantest my compeers thine aid. You still haven't found it, then, your missing etherite. That's why you're here. No one told you? We have not. No. We know that Iceheart teleported to an etherite not far from the first. Yet, even after careful analysis, we could not locate the second beacon. We now suspect that the heretics destroyed the second etherite to impede our pursuit. Our allies continue to scour Snowcloak for Icehot Sanctuary, but we have no guarantee that they will find it. Yet, it must be found, for even now Iceheart prepares to call upon Saint Shiva. I'm sorry, but if the etherite's been destroyed, then that's that. Although... You're absolutely sure she used the first etherite, are you? She didn't just use teleportation magics? One of our own bore witness to her escape. I can say with absolute certainty that Iceheart used the etherite. And I have cool glasses case, as well. might be away, so long as the ethereal current is still flowing. Truly? How? We use the current to recreate the beacon. As you know, etherites are a bit like lighthouses. 
We use them to reconstitute our physical forms when crossing the ethereal sea. Without them, we'd lose all sense of direction and our essence would dissipate. However, we don't rely solely on these beacons. There are currents of ether which flow between them, currents which help guide us to our destination. Now, these currents will gradually dwindle away to nothing if an etherite is destroyed. But, if even a sluggish flow remains, we could theoretically use it to direct a surge of concentrated ether towards the void left by the beacon, and thereby fill it up again. Like opening the floodgates to fill a dry riverbed. Though, correct me if I'm wrong, but would we not need a veritable reservoir of ether? In concert, we might manage to channel a sufficient volume, yet that is not my chief concern. To direct the flow of so great a volume of ether with the requisite precision would be a nigh-impossible task in itself. I barely succeeded in facilitating travel to an unattuned beacon. That which you describe sounds considerably more difficult. And dangerous! Every person who has attempted to teleport in this fashion has died in the process. They, however, did not have white aura sight at their disposal. Okay, kinda don't wanna die. You can use it to channel all the ether you can give me into the etherite. However, white aura sight cannot retain ether for an extended period of time, so we would need to infuse it immediately beforehand. Just so you know, I'd confidently give this plan better than even odds of success. And if the worst comes to worst, your people won't suffer. Oh, that's great. No, they won't feel the pain. No way to risk the lives of our best and brightest. We have not the time to seek other options. If the ethereal current still flows, we shall carry out Moonbreeder's plan. That's the great. spirit. Let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice and they all eyeball me. That's great. Okay, you know what? Let, let's continue a bit longer. I should be able to do my chores uh, in a given time. The instruments of our deliverance. I've already informed Alphanod of our plan to recreate the beacon in the manners of Monfia's, of, of Moon's description. I agree that despite the inherent danger, it represents our only hope of success. He also said that he wished to meet with you at Snow Cloak before proceeding. I suspect... I expect that you will find him waiting for you when you arrive. I want you to know that I appreciate everything you've done on our behalf, and I have faith in you. In you, and I have faith you will return to us as you always have. <laughs> oh okay, well, thank you. Frick! I don't. He's always all, all the way over, like everywhere, man. Okay, so we'll do Shiva. I think we'll actually head towards Shiva then. Yeah. And then it's just a few more. And then next time we could... In, in version 5.5, you have version... Uh, 2.5, you have 2.55 afterwards. I don't think that that long. It's, it's mainly large cinematical parts. And then we're actually in Heaven's Ward. Which... Bloody be time, isn't it? So, did my charity boy level up now? Oh, you got to be kidding, man. We'll see how far we'll get. So, I'll continue for 18. 18 more minutes. Then I need to stop. And do my chores make sure everything is in order continue where we actually can we just teleport over there don't tell me I have to go into the snow cloak again no it should not be get a bit lower to the ground a bit more interesting journey I think Good to see you. Now I was starting to wonder if you were having second thoughts. 
kept no but senses regard by the way he attend to the interrogation of Elena Rosil okay, how do you pronounce it okay wait 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 how do you say Royal We are looking at how to pronounce this name of name of French origin for reference in French it is said as Why Why so Why Why To Hélène Roy in Ulda as we speak that I shall not distract you from the mad at hand. We can discuss the ivy upon your return. I trust that, by which I mean to say, <clears throat> the others are waiting for us at the Ephraite. After you, sign. Why? See, I would never got to that. Why? There it is. It's ready. Interesting. And it's empty. Nice. It's like a portable battery. It worked, I think. Uh, try attuning to the if right now. Feel for the current and try to locate the beacon. Like everyone already knows, like I'm going to be the king you pick. Okay, we have done all we can. For now, let us withdraw. When your preparations are complete, we must seek out the beacon we have created. By the grace of the Twelve, you arrive safely. You must not stop Isat before summoning Siva. If you must stop Isat before summoning Siva. Uh, we'll do it immediately. I'll go in as a, as a, as a white mage. Okay, we can possibly ignore the possible. We cannot ignore the possibilities of our actions have alerted Isa to it. Yeah, of course it does. Should that be the case, she may attempt to hasten the completion of the summoning ritual. If she succeeds, uh, you will have little choice but to face Shiva in battle. Knowing little of this saint, I cannot say if your own strength will, su uh, so, uh, will suffice, and so I will encourage you to call upon your allies. Some may be reserving, uh, reserva Some may have reservations about waging their lives on the success of Moon's experiments, but others will surely agree that desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, let's go. Uh, so Emmerich regrets that he could not be here in person, but asks. Did I read you his letter? His God faces an unprecedented threat, yet in our hour of need, it is not her knights who stand poised to defend her. The warrior of light, savior of Eorzea, the deed, uh, your deeds this day shall not be forgotten. Where others would flee, you chose to remain. Where others would falter, you rise to the challenge. Where others would use their gifts of self, selfish ends, you wield yours in service of a greater cause. Uh, may uh, Alone bless you with a good fortune. Okay. There we go. Wait, this is... Wait, this is... Oh, we can now do the... Wait a minute. 
Wait, 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 wait. This is a trial, right? Yeah. It is a trial. Okay, wow. Okay, for a moment there, I was like, no, I don't need to do a dungeon again. Uh, trial. Shiva. Done. That's fast. That's why I like being on a mage. Now, hopefully, I don't F it up again. Wait. Uh, was shy one. And this is a warrior, so we can at least... Wait, there's a video? Why did I not get that? Oh wait, let's see, probably this is... Yeah, buddy, I'll, I'll be done shortly. Wait a minute. Did I misclick the wrong one? Yeah, I did. Oh, no. I misclicked. I'm an idiot. I'm doing snow cloak again. Damn it. The problem is I still had the other dungeon selected. Shite. Okay, well, redemption time. It is redemption time. That, that's basically what's going on now. Redeeming. And then we'll do the... The other one right away. There's nothing else here. Come on. There's nothing else here. Come yeah, now now that this, the, the cast is done, so way to go. Come on, we can do this. feel like an idiot. That's why I didn't get the cinematic. That's wh that's precisely why I did not get the cinematic. go right now. Great. Thanks for moving out. It's just two remaining. Oh, wait. No, this... Yeah, this is... Ah, man. <laughs> I'm so bummed out on myself. It's so stupid. Okay, let's go with this one. Zoom out a bit. I think things actually are going faster than they did last time. Keep that shield up.
Uh, we cannot stun him. There's no point in doing... That's it. Wow, this goes a lot faster. Uniques, are, uh, I'll need it. I don't know if I can use it to get seals or not. Uh, we'll just hope that we do. Stop. What are you what are you doing? What's going on? Please please get them off me. I don't, I, oh, give me a second, Dita. I'll see what's going on. Well, I'm almost out of MP. Why did she just not resurrect? I shouldn't tank stuff in the icy windy areas, to be fair. Yeah, true, but someone was getting attacked. Like Lady Mercia over here was getting his ass kicked. The tank did his best, I think. Oh no, I got attacked. I'm getting attacked. He is having his skill up, right? Yeah, Defiance is up. You better bloody live now. Get three seconds stun in. That's actually saving my ass. Yeah, he doesn't hit the mobs, yeah. Well, I, I did redeem myself. So far, Beanie had died on her own accord. Okay, let's give him the second one. Let's go with uh, Medica 2. There we go, and now we can start smacking. And this one... Something weird happened with him. Oh yeah, this is with the ice balls. We'll go here. Okay, who is going to be taking the fall? So far, we don't have a black mage. Which <laughs> I'm happy about. Because they don't care. Okay, wait, now go in. Go out. Go in. And get Medica. Okay, which one is going to be growing? That one, that one. We're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, she's going to have the worst of it now. Cast and cure right away. Let's get Aoife. Okay, 
Okay, when he's done, we can now go in, go Medica 2. Go out. Why did it, why don't they move out? Why don't they move out? I don't get that. You, you this is one of the easiest, simplest mechanics they will give you at the start, right? Come on, man. Small balls, which one will you grow? self bit one. He died. Alright, good. Way, here to go. I'll greet the heck out of that. I'll need it. I think everyone will need that, to be fair. Tank is typing, I think. Go. What are we waiting for? Come on. What's going on? <sighs> See, that's what's happening. She has been pulling. Someone was pulling. Beans was pulling. Yeah, this is what you get. Why do you do that? What did you expect would happen? You ain't no tank. I'm a healer, not a miracle worker. Come on. Why would you do that, you know? I don't get that. Just let the tank do its thing. That might be the first time for the tank. Who knows? And there's Lady again. I always get so pissed when people do that. Like, I get it. We're moving slower. Whatever. Let's give everyone region because we know they're all a bunch of dumbasses. Don't walk into those. Okay, here's the tank. Here's the rest. What will Lady do? Trigger it again. Way to go. <laughs> it's so stupid. Come on now. I think our tank might be more busy typing than anything else. Maybe it's not the fault. Okay, he's going to sprint. I'm going to sprint after it, so give him regen. Go right in here. Go with Makina 2. Do that. Now, holy... Don't die. Yep, I fucked up. Uh, I'm sure as hell no, she was rest. Jesus Christ.
Oh, that pisses me off. What, what, was, the, what was the tank doing? What was he doing? Well, he, I, I gave him a res. Still laying on his ass. And then everyone dies. And then he's like, oh shit, man, I had a res. Well, I'll be damned. Well, what the fuck? Now they're starting the fight without, you know, I don't know, like a healer. Oh, fuck. We just, you know, I don't know, like pay attention. We have a preoccupied tank. That that that's the problem. A tank is preoccupied. There was no need to die. Okay, get out. Stand in front of its mouth. Go oh, basic, basic stuff. Okay, which one is not going to be annoying? This one. Great. No. Way to go. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we die. Oh my god! Yeah, now uh, because I'm casting... Just pay fucking attention, guys. Can we just please? 
Could you take a rest? Could you? I know, no, just, just take it. You know, that would be nice, wouldn't it? What if? Oh God, you got to be. F That's it. You know. <laughs> How was the ice people happy? Yeah, come on, man. You get a rest as a tank, you take the rest. You're not waiting 20 seconds for the entire party, you know, you die. Take a fucking hint. This is an easy fight. This is an absolutely easy fight. He throws in the pillars. Those pillars will get uh, a, a big, uh, some, a, a small attack around them. Uh, one of the pillars is going to be blue, the others will explode. Easy. Very, very easy. Don't go standing next to a red crystal that will go boom. You know, boom bad, blue good. Yeah, contempt indeed. Contempt. <laughs> you got to be yeah, even being is like Jesus Christ. First one is fine. First one will just get four pillars you can hide behind. Then uh, it will do that attack like three times more. Just don't stand in the yellow circle. Now you can just go stand behind it. Go heal up. Give myself a bit of that. After he does boom. Move out. Crystal go boom. He's too late. Too late. Tank is too late. going to do it again we'll summon those pillars here you go one of pillars which one is it that one come here go 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 god that the guy is an idiot hey, you're welcome oh man I had to summon him over here <laughs> what are you doing? Bruh, seriously. <laughs> Come to the blue crystal, thank you, yeah. Oh. I, I can't do it again, like, I got a 60 second cooldown on it. Okay, crystals come. Okay, which one's blue? This one. Okay, move. She's too late. Again. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, you absolute dingus. Absolute dingus. Please kill it. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Yay. Well, thank you for group. Uh, Lady Merc. I don't know. I, I don't get. Not the tank. 
Read the heck out of that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, now I'm too late. I can't do the other one. Sorry. Uh, what happened is I did queue this one up. This one is still on, isn't it? Yeah, that's what happened. Sorry. So that's it where we... Uh, that's, that's it for now. Sorry for that. Um, I will just go return to Limsa. And I will be back maybe tonight. Not sure yet. You know, if you haven't followed, just follow me. You'll get a, a notification if that's uh, something you like. Otherwise, I'll, I might see you tonight. Otherwise, Monday. Hey, have a good one. Bye-bye.